block. Please, I would I would like for us not to. I mean, ain't like we can smoke in here, so what would be the point of rolling up while I'm on camera? What's going on, everybody? Welcome to another edition of What Is Love Tour. It is I, Mr. Tone Deaf. I am off camera today because I don't look like I'm loved. So, <laughs> says the nigga with his hair all over his head. I said, I don't look like I'm loved. You growing into your look now. That's different. I had to grow in. You had to figure out to where you want to shake them grades at. So, you're trying to find your limb. Nah, go. Next, you're going to find your color. Nah, I can't dye my hair. That's I ain't gonna call it gay, but it ain't for me. You haven't found the right color yet. That's I, why I don't want. To Telling be, you, man, you get them. Bro, all I'm burn, too old to be doing young nigga activities. You get them all burn tips, bro. Hoes go crazy. <laughs> that's why I got locks in the beard. Now nah, I gotta stop doing shit for bitches. I Do not. Got one. Not supposed to be. That's why we here. I don't got one. It's what we supposed to be doing here? But as you can see, we are back in the building on this. And I got more beautiful women. Y'all thought that we just be in here with niggas? No, that's no god. That's that's definitely sure. not. We don't ever be in here with the niggas. It's always shout, but with, shout out to Johnny for coming through it's last cool. week. Definitely, definitely was. I thought he would be here this week. You know what? It's funny. I asked him what he was doing, but I think I never went back to confirm oh, okay. if he for sure, for sure was gonna make it. I thought he was my wingman for a few episodes. He gonna oh, he gonna be back. He'll, he'll be, he'll, can he be here Thursday? I'll, I'll make sure he's Why you ain't confirmed? That's, That's my thought. Because John, I you know what it is? I think I never confirmed that we were starting at 7 30. Okay. I think I told him eight, but then I never went back to confirm if he was gonna make it. <laughs> but at the time, I also had two other people who were supposed to join us who had to drop out the last minute. So it would have been too many people. Niggas being niggas. So because I'm notorious for like overbooking. Because niggas being niggas. Because niggas be niggas. So I want to make sure that the show is great. Right. So, yeah, who else? I know you probably thought I would be the one that dropped out on yes. the G. I did. Yes. <laughs> on the G. I did. I, yes. I, yes. I was on Facebook and I saw your story. She's like, Yeah, I'll be part with different. So I was like, Ha! This motherfucking lying. It's all cap. It's all, it's all cap right here. Then I, but, like, then I lost the story. I was going to go back so I could write. This is cap. <laughs> But good thing you didn't because she, she did show up. up. So, so I don't But we definitely want to go ahead and, and you know, introduce family because they're not guests. They fucking family. There's at least ten episodes each of them on the network. We are Thanks. joined by Big Red, not the little one. <laughs> one third of some podcast that decide to take a forever break no longer exists see damn <laughs> some podcasts some podcast don't some do that bro. some podcast don't do that bro i i, it, I fuck with her because that's family but i, fuck with all I like of the, i like the other two too that's what i'm saying it's a, it didn't resuscitate this time so. <laughs> that motherfucker dead <laughs> flatline 
but we'll figure some things out. We got to get Denise <laughs> back kind of, in I didn't studio. Say that. I wasn't here for that. But I do got to give her credit because she completely came out of her shell during that that run. So we, you, we might get a very you, good Denise. You know out. what? Denise gonna be our third for the summer. For the summer. That for sounds summer. really kinky. Like what? <laughs> Yeah, man, you just, so you put you just gonna put that on both of our jackets, like that's, right, like, that's, that's what not, we on. It's not I, even how I we roll with you. The ride, like, like that's what like, we that's on. not even how we look at you. That's why right. it I, would be I more so on. her. We would say that about than you because she, <laughs> you got a whole business dedicated to that. So that's a different story. <laughs> Once a business, always a business. I mean, okay. Hiatus. Yeah, that's all you gotta say. But we are joined uh, by. Oh, it is. Oh, it is. We are joined by which one you want to go by? Kiki Banks? I don't know. If you're no, nasty. No, Kiki is, we're not doing, no, Kiki. I'm like, I don't know who to call you. I'm, I'm just Keisha today. Just Keisha. Just okay. Keisha. Today. Just Keisha. Just Keisha. Love when, you know, the OF comes up. See? <laughs> that's all. Pull your mic closer to you. That's all that you know hey, come on, man. Talk to the dick. Talk to the dick. I haven't had one in my face for a while. That's your that fault. That's your fault. I mean, we could. We could. We uh-huh. Shut up. I was like, that's one. I, I'm no, just I'm uh, here because it's a podcast. It's jokes. That's what we're supposed I just, to do. I didn't say nothing was wrong. But you know what, bro? I might take an on air break and let Johnny sub in for the summer. So you got Denise and Johnny for the I summer. I don't really know folks like that. But that's the part where you learn folks like that. You want me to get to know a nigga in real oh, time. Air, right? Like Toby <laughs> want me to do some of the wildest shit in real time. But just that, getting to know niggas on the air. That's con that's content. That's content. Right? So content. we just disagree is is just that. You said you don't that. get jump in. It's just that. I would uh, the folks gotta as long in. as we've been doing this, do you think I would just put someone here who would who would mess up the groove? Keep it a buck. Nah, I don't not intentionally. Not, right, I was gonna say not, in, not intentionally, but it may happen. It, like it's been a few episodes that I've looked across the room and be like, "This one was your fault." And there's been times <laughs> I definitely look like, "Nigga, this is all you." Usually, I accept that. Like when shit go off the rails, it's usually my fault. But there's usually, been a few episodes I looked across the table like, "He fucked up on this one." But I took that L. You have Hold I on, have more L's than you, so you I most say, definitely more did. L's than you. You most definitely do. I'm going to the championship. You might not make it out to Eastern Conference Finals. I'm not even in the play in. Damn, not that bad, bro. <laughs> I'm trying to give you some hope. But we are here on the second stop of the What is Love tour. What's love? Got to do it. Got to do it. What's love? But a second hand emotion. Wait, Shout damn, out I felt like we just sang two different songs. No, you did. I'm like, we was on the we same, was on the same page. song. <laughs> That's why I said we. Motherfucker, do y'all not know what the definition of we is? But what oh, we saying wow. is we were good. You were <laughs> somewhere else. Get to the love. Y'all been, been squabbling like a little married couple. Because <laughs> <laughs> motherfuckers acting like they don't understand the definition of we. <laughs> we meaning more than one. Motherfucker. It's plural. But we saying you out the loop. Right, because I was Ja Rule and Ashanti. See, oh, Fat Joe, you we motherfuckers Tina. was like we Tina, Tina Turner. Turner. Yeah, we gonna... don't need another hero. <laughs> I've been listening to Tina Turner all fucking day. In the end, but yet you still went to Ja Rule, right? Like the I'm not. No sure one gives that. a fuck about what Ja has to say. They, they wasn't playing. What's love got to do with it at work? They play. We don't need another hero, and I don't even know if that's the name of the song, but that's the song they play. I think or. Yeah, um, yeah. Titles song. Absolutely. Or it's what? so bad that even D'Angelo, even though his song was called Untitled, he had to give it a second title. Right. <laughs> Niggas was like, no, this is called How Does It Fit? Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's called Untitled. But, or, they, or they play the other song where she be dissing. Which one? Uh, shit. Because what? what's love got it's, to do with it? not what's love got to do with it. Damn, what's the other one? When I think of it, I'm going to let you know. It was like, that's the song she was dissing Ike. Oh, I don't want to fight. Oh, that's not that's not dissing Ike. Like, That's just getting tired of getting hit on. She told I like, look, bro, I don't want to fight. I don't care who I'm right. And if I got to, I'll put this on your ass. She should have came out the gate beating dude. That's how I do my ass. You just beat up she people? Yeah, she got to let the niggas know out the gate that you, 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 you,
Too old to be passing licks. No, I just I'm not passing licks. I'm I'm giving whoopings. I've always been a mother. I've been a mother since a very young age. Sometimes uh, I gotta whoop other people's kids. Wow. <laughs> please don't. Please don't. Whoop. <laughs> sometimes <laughs> other people's kids need to whoop. She you got, know, she got, acting up, you're gonna get spanked. I'm she sorry. gotta go. I don't care where she goes. She got to go. No, no, I don't hit people, but I, I do get triggered when people sit in my face and tell lies. Because I, I put my bitch on. in the full Nelson. That's a lot of Nelson. If you think that this is a game, I, a game. I will him you, you this know shit. I date big dudes. So everybody is bigger than me. You think size is going to matter? When my little self get upset, when I move, I move. That's you I, you just like move, that. But I don't know where you're going to move to. You ever seen a motherfucker just like stuck to a wall? This no. is not love talk, one. It's, it's not. I've been waiting for y'all to get to the love, but y'all been fighting all day. I've, I've actually found love. You found, found love? love? Yeah, I found it on eBay. I got it for like twenty five percent off. Wait, <laughs> eBay. All right, let me look. Let me take. Let me take notes. eBay. <laughs> all right, true. I'm here for it. No, no. It no, might no. be some good love on eBay. It's not. They it's selling. Not. They selling dick on eBay. No, we didn't say dick. It. Said love. It's love. You're coming to catch Listen, up. okay? You're coming to catch up, by the way. Why would I pay for Why that? Why is it free? It's See, it's niggas it's got to do better that is free. You know, it's free. No, it's not. That's free is not always good. I didn't say it was good. I just said it was free. There's but that don't. There's no value. I'm about to put a price range on my toy. Porn is free, friend. but when you go to the OFs, you get better quality, don't you? Not even. The, um, not even. The good ones, you. The OF is the biggest finesse I've ever my seen. My bad. It's the other ones you got to go to. I know. Because you know how I'm finessing right now? I don't even got my real self up no more. I got like AI bitches up right now. See, that's why I don't subscribe. Making, making that's why money. I don't subscribe. <laughs> At the end. Good money. That's why. That's why I, no. I'm tired. You know, you get so tired. <laughs> you know, like, like, bitch, arm get tired. Your back hurt. There's too many different angles trying to get this shit. Let me get you to tie this hole real quick. I got digital hoes now. Tom, why are we here today? What 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 <laughs> what what leg of love are we on today? I, last episode we talked about what you know, just basic how to, definition how, of how love to, and how to love, love. you. Yeah, this you know. week we're talking about being honest with yourself while dating and being able to tell people you're just not interested in them, which I think is very hard for women these days because niggas people, don't listen. Uh, people, not just women. People. Yeah, it's true because Juan has really been on. This tangent of the last few days about like just women need to accept the fact that you no means no. No, real shit though. Like I man. But women be acting like ain't no nigga ever told them no, and I just don't believe that. It's because I've of what you're telling them before, no too. But it's been because the guy he said, Oh, I'm sorry, I'm married. And I respected that, like, oh shit, you told me you was married. Okay. Well, I respect it. Then they'd be like, but but not then not you can't just you can't right. you can't you know, yeah, that's can't not that's not a that's not but, a but nah, nah, I nah. never just had a dude that's just been straight and not married and, and turn me down though. See now like this because I asked, I'm like, no, just ain't no like y'all act like ain't no nigga ever just said, you know what, you cool, but nah, this we can't do. You just not interested. Right, and I feel like and women be like, nah, ain't no nigga ever said no to me. Like I don't shoot what? my shot enough to be turned right. down. That's what now that's see if women would have commented on my post and was like, yo, I don't really shoot my shot enough for a nigga to say no, I would understand that more versus nah, ain't no nigga ever told me no. A couple of so times. There, there's you're not putting yourself out there for people to tell you no. Why Correct. Why? So <laughs> why would you so ask dude? that's like so you they're what? essentially saying never ask to do no. See, that's that's what I the would, fuck wrong I with y'all. I'd never I, I'd never I had, probably I, guess, I probably would. I guess maybe. if I, if somebody do you like people? I do like people, but I never. How do we know you like them? No, and I say that on some real shit because I feel like I may flirt with a guy, I may mess with you, pick with you, so you will get the to, the idea to ask me. I just it, but, it, that you'll get the, you'll get the, but that doesn't just, mean you just, like him though, because y'all will flirt with a I'm dude. I'm opening to some free shit. I'm um, opening it not even for you free shit because y'all bored. That's true. I see that. I feel like bitches I can do that. Like I don't while know. I'm you. at work on social media, then they come back the next day, and I'll be like, "What?" And they be like, "Damn!" What I'm like, she act like I, like, like, I, don't, like, know like, like, I don't know her. <laughs> Lie to somebody else. I know you. I've seen you do it. <laughs> I mean, because I be bored at work. So whoever you are, when I'm on my nine hour shift, I mean, you have all my full of uninvited attention. <laughs> <laughs> but on a Saturday when I'm not working, why are you in my inbox, sir? This is <laughs> see. This is why. See, a lot of niggas think 
that we like to surround ourselves with women because we're freaky, creepy niggas. It's not it. It's a social experiment. I, I learned from I, that. I, that's all I'm saying. Like, bro, I just pick up on shit, which is why I don't fuck with people. I stay to myself because I know the type of time women be on. And when you own shit like that, you are not interested. And if you're not interested, you're not going to be interesting, which means whatever thought I had about you, that shit's gone in 2.2 seconds because you want bullshit. And that's okay. Be on your bullshit. Just don't bullshit me. Yeah, I usually bullshit the people I see coming through bullshit. I like I just meet you with your shit. But when you're a really nice guy or whatever, I don't even play with you. I'm not gonna leave you on. I'm not gonna mess you up for the next one if I know I'm on, if I know I'm in my bullshit phase. I'm Most guys out. gonna get messed up regardless on their own. It ain't gonna be your fault because you can tell you can tell them I'm not here for nothing. I'm just here for a good time, not a long time. And niggas will still keep going. They'll know what they're getting themselves into. They, they, like but that I'm too. like, but women are females absolutely like that too. A guy women can are tell you in like so that many ways. I'm not checking for you, no a real it, relationship, and or blah, blah, blah. like and we would still yeah. fantasize that. Oh, and and we would still take that little inch of piece that he's willing to give us and, and build that into a whole fantasy, even though this he's little sitting piece. here telling us delusional this is not what he wants. Willingly giving delusional. Yes, That's willingly true. delusional. I just came out of that. I was delusional for like three years for no damn reason. Hey, being delusional is crazy. No reason. It's comfortable. And you just, I'm just no, we're actually, Why that no. was actually, I was is. comfortable. I didn't have to change. I didn't have to meet Ooh. nobody. He already saw me with my hair nappy. Listen. He saw me with my titties hanging. I didn't have to meet nobody. I didn't have to, nobody knew. Right. I didn't have to go above and beyond because you already saw me yeah. in my raw state. So mm-hmm. I don't have to do all of this extra shit for somebody else who I'm just meeting. I don't have to do all of this extra getting dressed up, doing my hair, doing my, like, I'm yes. going to do these things for myself. But if I'm meeting somebody new, then I have to keep up this look for a certain period of time. But yes. you a model, you always got that look. No, no but what. you be sometimes you just want to all at all. <laughs> women women do too. Women, so. women do some wild shit. Sometimes you want to do all of it. Sometimes you don't want you don't want to put lotion on your face. Sometimes you just want to be dry. Good. Like, give me that. Like, <laughs> give me I'm not that. against that. We can sit down I eat, want eat tacos while watching Abbott Elementary. I want to see sweatpants. the I want to see the woman in the 50th pick in this month. <laughs> The 50th because that's what that's who you is every day. This Man. 50th pick with your bonnet on or your scarf, yeah, and your mm-hmm. bare face, that's you every day. I just don't Anybody want that know. all the time, though. Don't Anybody give me don't give me what you know. look like in your first 10 picks because that's 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 what you put on for the Facebook. What you look like on pick number 50. That's that's give me that. If look, catch, like me you, catch me working, catch me working from home. I'm definitely like that. I guarantee you, I'm ugly and crunchy. That's all I'm saying. Let me appreciate all of that. Like every day. Show me your ugly. Let me appreciate it. I didn't roll. I didn't roll out the bed, wash my face, and brush my teeth, and that was extent of it. (laughs) I fucks with that. That's it for today. Because I feel like y'all spend y'all do all this shit to hide who you are, and then it's like, what if this shit get like deep, super deep? You just spent this whole entire time I've known you hiding who you are. Now I'm spending the night at your house, and I'll be like, "What the fuck is this?" So listen, uh, before I'm like, before that. I'm like, but say, before before you stay tonight at my house, you gonna see at some point the fiftieth pick because. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I want to see the fiftieth pick. You but you're not gonna see it. But you're not gonna see it on week one though. No. No, nah, bro, because you got to make sure you even make it out of week one. Like typical dating don't happen like seven I'm days. In I one want week. you to find out I'm broke week one. <laughs> So you don't expect oh, no. nothing. <laughs> you, 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 they're not going to expect nothing. Just like you ain't going to expect another phone call from them. <laughs> That'd be crazy. You, you know broke, what? nigga. I ain't broke, but I'm broke. Like, it's levels to being broke. But you presented yourself as broke. That's nah, I, so they, I, I'd be like the nigga in them fucking Facebook videos. They'd be like, you broke, but you got on $300 tennis shoes? Absolutely. Don't, don't be that person. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Absolutely, three hundred dollars. So you're wearing your money. Got it. Yeah. Yeah, and see, that's not gonna be what they want. What you want? You want what? Like what? Do they want to know that you are gonna you stable, you smart with no, your no, money. No, 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 no. A real person wants to know. A if real you're smart woman want to know if I'm stable. Yeah. Okay, so what a about bitch that? who fishing for something just want to know, can I pay for the date? That's different. 
So but no. why are you entertaining that? After you find out that like, all she know, wants, I need to know all wanted, of the above, though. See, Tom, right. see here, here's what I think the misconception is with a lot of shit. I don't think we entertain shit on purpose. We kind of just find out the type of people you be. Yeah. Like, but, I wouldn't go in to a situation entertaining a chick that I know all she wants is some fucking money. Again, as like they say, niggas do, women do it too. You send me your representative. Yeah. So now I meet the chick that, oh man, the picnic, that's fly. Like all the shit you type on the internet, oh, that's fly. Then when I say, well, you know, I'm off on Saturday. It's nice. You know, let me, you want to take me up on that picnic? Oh, no, we got to go here and such and such. But then at that point in time, but but but, but at that point in time, if she say, let's go somewhere else, it is up to you to entertain that. Oh, no, you you can like, easily say, no, nah, I'm yes, good. Yes, I'm yes. good, love, and joy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I don't I don't go there. I don't eat. I would totally take the um the picnic over a restaurant I've been to a million times. Listen, do but, something different. And I'm always big. looking to do something, something different, different. Okay. Every I time I order them, that food every day I work from home. I, I'm eating at these restaurants all the time. I'm tired of that. You know what I'm saying? You've they tired there, of that one. You've been there. Do something different. And then a lot of people work from home now, so they don't even really want to go out nowhere. Exactly. You just can't come to their house on the first couple of days. Correct. Correct. Yes. What kind of niggas do y'all be me? I just because when they be like niggas ask me for some money, up. I was like, damn. Oh you, you I would yes. you wouldn't believe how many times I've been asked for money, and I'm like, this dude I'm told sorry, me what? That I should buy him a pair of shoes because I got the money. I. No, soon as, just what? say that last episode. Because I got some money. As soon as they you some shoes, you soon as they man, hit you with I, it. No, nah, you got the big money, nigga. What? No, I believe I, I told a girl I wouldn't date her because she don't buy tennis shoes. Because she don't buy you tennis shoes. That's what she said. She said she wouldn't buy me tennis shoes. I won't buy you tennis shoes either, though, because y'all shit like three hundred dollars. That's not my problem. Ain't mine either. That's okay, but see, <laughs> I looked at it from a standpoint of if we are seriously dating. And I like you. I know the type of nigga that I am. I'm gonna go to the end of the earth to make sure you happy. So that means whatever you want, as long as I got it, you got it. And if you bitching over a pair of two hundred dollar tennis shoes, and you gonna ask me for something that costs way more than that, and you bitching over two hundred dollar sneakers. Why you yelling? This ain't even. <laughs> but because it's, it's a passion about passion. it. I, I get it. But I'm just, I'm just saying deep. though, like I if two hundred, like, I don't doubt. I'm not. I'm not. Like two hundred dollars sneakers is the least of your worries when you asking a nigga to be your provider, your protector. If we live together. When somebody kick that door in, I'm the first line of defense. You are gonna look at me like, hey, yo, babe, you, you gotta didn't get say up. All that. You got to go do that. But I'm just saying, these are things that as a woman, you should already know what you're going to expect from your nigga if I'm trying to be your nigga. Correct. And if I, I ask you for a $200 pair of tennis shoes and you bat your fucking eyelashes, I slap them motherfuckers <laughs> off. Had Wait a minute. Out. I'm sorry. Oh, <laughs> no, no, no. Wait a minute. you me violent? Oh, oh, this show God. is about love. That sounds like, 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 sound like love, love, my guy. I got you. Right, I'm very I'm very sorry. No, I'm I think my lashes good. It'd be, it be little minuscule shit that women just be like, nah, I ain't doing that for no nigga. Like, That's because I guess it depends it's on... a general, it's a general statement more so yeah. than right. a direct. You're not, statement. not gonna do it for anybody, but if you're doing all of that, then I can see I would do I would do that for my man. So listen, I don't know if you see all that low. I wouldn't have right. all that nigga said is hey back. It was a nice pair of George. Come on, can you make sure? And I don't even want just be up at nine o'clock and, and just hit the button when I hit the button no. so we can all get the shoe. I'm not gonna do that. I'm a cash app you figure all that out. I'm not gonna be oh, up with we'll your shoes. You take care of all that. You however want me we got to get it done. Let's get however we got no. to get it done. Let's get it done. So the type of the type of person that I am is I'm very big on reciprocity the energy that i give is the energy that i expect yes so just a couple of weeks ago i heard on the radio that there's an anime conference coming up i know someone who likes anime if we were actually fucking with each other on that level i'd have bought tickets to the anime convention why y'all not fucking with each other on that level do you like him i do but there has to be a mutual level of interest so if there's not a mutual level so you don't know if you like you Oh, I know that there's not a mutual level of interest. My point is she goes because, he does, there, what she's saying. because there's not a mutual level of interest, the thought crossed my mind and that's where it stopped. Okay. <laughs> like, but I'll be mad. if we were fucking with each other on that level, 
I have no interest in anime. I don't know what the fuck going on. Oh, you need but, to get into that. The shit cracks. Yeah. I'll be reading Facebook. Personal, I'll be like, man, what kind personal of opinion? Y'all be fucking with? Uh, but I, I would have bought. I would have bought the tickets also, either for us to go, or he can take whoever he wants to take. I'd have bought two tickets. Like, you want me to go with you, or you gonna take somebody? Else? Like, I'm not even that type of person. I think you might have actually liked the uh, anime convention. Because the, the way they be wilding out, and I'm dressing up and doing and having fun like oh big God, ass kids. I did. You doing that? Shout my shot at Denise. We're oh like 23 God. years of age. <laughs> You wasn't you wasn't mature enough for her. Denise Still was, not, but Denise you wasn't. Was like, fuck you, you fat. I was I like, like, oh my Dang. god, oh my god. She just said like, why? Right. I'm like, you just make me out. Make she did call me fat. Terrible person. I did not. You we got to get a girl that like you. Girls. Didn't, but exactly. So well, leave it at that. I green. did not. You green. I you did not. In. <laughs> and I, I, I could be 85 if you green. You in. You set. <laughs> It cut deep. Clearly, because See, she called me fat coming in. I was like, I ain't never gonna be skinny again. Shit, I roll with this. <laughs> that cut that hurt his It's okay, her. Denise, bro. I just it's I clearly just, not okay because you still bring them shit from over 10 years I, ago. Like, He's a cancer, they don't I, let stuff cause go. We, cause <laughs> clearly. I, some chances I just want to remind you that you you hurt my feelings. Um why well, will always bring up the past. It's cool. Like, we have grown. So do I need we, to apologize on we, air for the have, of time and no, shit? No, you don't need to apologize because I'm never gonna not. Find it funny. <laughs> so don't apologize no more. I'm never going to not. Lord have it. mercy. But I get what she's saying. I, I dated a guy once and I had like no interest in chess, but I learned how to play chess because he was a chess master. I think he was, I would watch him beat so many people and I was like, oh, you think he cold? You know, so, so it wasn't even about the interest of the fact that you want to humble you. Him. You want no. to humble him. No. You're <laughs> so cold. Cut through no. this. But I found, I found that but it was also a lot of time playing chess. And if I learned the game that he loved, then that would be more time that we could Correct. play together. Correct. So, so now I'm learning so I can spend more time with you. As you should. That's because time. chess is going to take up two hours with the person who really knows how to play. And then that's two less hours that I had with you. So look, fam. here's the thing though, if it taught me how he how he thinks because yes. when people play chess, they, they, they think, think that way. They, they try to apply a lot of stuff to life and that taught me how to do the yeah, same Yeah, they thing. always so think moves ahead. That was a good move. Learning that well, I thought it was learning it for him actually broaden my horizon on a lot of different things. So I'm if I'm interested in that person, I'll get involved in what you're involved in, just so we can have some mutual things to talk. Right. About. When I like you, I do my homework. Yes, I, I pay homework. attention to I everything attention you post, all that shit. Thing, just like on a um, like one of them reality shows, and the lady was like, "You don't know if that's your husband back." How you don't not know that's your husband back? Because you my boyfriend, I can know if that's your ankle. That's listen, your back okay. Your ear, that's that's the top of your head. I know Correct. that's the bottom of your feet. I know Correct. every inch of the person I'm with because you're not gonna have to ask me for anything. Cause I'm already gonna know how you move. I know what movie you come in. You had if you text me, you having a bad day at work. I know how to not have that energy when you come home. That energy when you come home gonna be peaceful. That day at work gonna be that at work. You gonna get your mind off that. And sometimes a nice little relaxation, little blow job does that. So you gotta know how to. For sure, I de- I'm definitely like if my next girlfriend don't know how to roll a blunt. First thing I'm teaching. Her. Oh my god. <laughs> first thing I'm teaching. Her. I I had to learn how I learned how to roll a blunt because first of all. I used, to, I used to be that person that um, pushed off on all my friends. And then I moved to Michigan and I had no black friends. <laughs> like, right. What are you going to do? When you got it? nobody to do it, you have to do it. So, <laughs> I figured it out. I had a, a lot of loose blunts and a lot of waste of weed on the ground. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I had to figure it out. But when I, I learned that this my this how my man like to come home, This you come home to, house going to be clean, dinner going to be done, blunt going to be rolled, I'm going to be ready, jaws going to be unlocked. Let me help you Bruce, relax. That's what I'm talking about, man. Simple shit. It didn't cost me two hundred dollars for a pair of shoes. I bet you. I bet you worry about them shoes. <laughs> we off them shoes. <laughs> Take your mind off them shoes. You got, you got a point there, bro. <laughs> ain't no real sneakerhead. Hey. Them motherfuckers. She took care. She took care. Of I don't give a fuck. In the moment. Yo, in the moment. Right. In the moment. In the moment. You, you ain't do. think about them shoes no more. Maybe. The maybe tomorrow. Once. Once I come. Not, 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 I gotta not, go back to figuring out how to get these shoes. <laughs> when that cash app request come for that two hundred dollars, like damn, we didn't forget. Right, Shit. like damn it, all right, man. Yeah, man. Yeah, I'm sure I'm about to ask him about this wig next week. So let me send this. Shit. Right. That's right. all okay. I'm saying. If the, you know these these heels did just come out, my favorite designer just just released these heels, and you know, as a model, I got to have these shoes. So yeah. listen, or Betty, I know I'm gonna take this trip. So listen, 
Just all I needed just pay for my flight. I got the rest. See? Just book my flight. It was crazy though, because she was like, she was like, so why? Why would you? She was like, you would never date me one. I was like, nope. She was like, wow. wow. I was like, I guess I would be humble. I'm like, because you do not buy shoes. She was like, but I suck dick though. <laughs> I was like, well, I guess clearly, sucking dick ain't enough. Like, clearly, it's clearly not, and I wish dick. y'all would stop thinking ain't enough. It I guess yeah. it just depends on how good you is at it. It's that, that, that enough for me. That, it's not <laughs> even that. that. It's okay. It's not even that. You can know. be the best damn dick sucker in the world, right? After a while, that's not what we want anymore. If you're not the best damn dick sucker in the world, the fact that I can get my dick sucked from almost anybody out here in this day and age. So you gotta come better than that than only sucking my dick. Cause I can get just like y'all can me... get just like y'all say a man who presents you with nothing but dick is not a big deal to y'all because y'all can get dick from anywhere, right? right. And can so, and can because regardless of how ugly a woman is, she can get dick from yeah. somebody. Yeah. There's a lot of ugly, a lot of ugly baby so one. So it's gotta be. I got I gotta let them ugly hoes fall off my jacket, <laughs> I got it. I mean, it's probably it's probably a couple of y'all out here like, nah, bro, I can't, I can't do that one. But I it's a lot. That. But it's a lot more of y'all. y'all. But it's a lot more of y'all who, yeah. man, listen, she got a fat ass looking. though. And that is, one of those people no, that no, but that no, ass, no, but that no, ass not, though. That no, that, that, not you seen to that the ass? unattractive women, but there are a lot of guys who look past the face. Because they got ass, and I hate or that money, for them. Or, or titties, them. or both. Like I hate that for them. I really do. And do then they Being wonder. Some, then uh, they wonder please. why women. I'm not gonna say it's the right thing to do. However, they wonder why that same woman dog they ass because she wasn't really in it for you. You just and she seen you you weren't really in it for her. You just wanted some pussy. Yep. So I mean in turn she gave it to you but also she dogged your ass. So you get what you you get what you go looking for. You right. do get what you go because looking for. Because it probably for. was a nice cute little um skinny flat booty girl right there that liked you and you just couldn't see past that Correct. Right ass. So Speaking you just went right past that. Huh? Speaking from experience. Well yeah. <laughs> a little bit. So why did you have to come at her like that? That was not even necessary. It wasn't necessary. Right, it it was was de- necessary. He definitely took a shot at you. No, that's yes, you was was a shot. I was speaker, not. speaker from experience. Like that, that was kind of that was kind of uncalled hey, for. Yes, yeah, okay. you, 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 you well, got well, Hold on, hold on, hold on. Do you remember <laughs> the time about twenty five minutes ago? How passionately <laughs> I felt about that, right? Okay. You get passionate and you feel a certain way because you get triggered because it's usually an experience that you had. That was like, that was the lane we was going in. So are you speaking from experience? Yeah, I have been. It's okay. Okay. We human. We are. Niggas say no. Women wow. say no. That was I've nice, had. That was a nice clean up on the bullshit. I've had. Yeah, I'm let yeah. Because I definitely shot. It was a shot. But at the same time, it still <laughs> podcast. I have people you know people pass you know how many bitches swipe left on me <laughs> you want you want dating at, you on facebook dating i am on facebook dating. are y'all on facebook da- well you I, got am not. I'm a, I am on two different pages i don't know why i got one on me and then one for females i don't know what i was there, doing that day there, there's nothing on facebook it's really not it's the same damn people <laughs> and like and with facebook dating i don't know if you've ever been on that side of the world Tom. i have not Facebook, that, it, it tell like it it show you who they be friends with. So you already know who they connect. So it's to. like I've seen you in passing. Like when I look and see who you friends with, I'm like, oh, I already know the type of time you be on. This oh, shit God. ain't nothing here for you. See, to me, Facebook dating is stupid when using the actual dating app. Right. Once just, they tell you who you friends with, I just you just go to their yeah, friends. Just find you. So, yeah, just find you. Secondly. And me and you know this for a fact. If two to three people we personally know are Our friends, friends with, with them, them, absolutely. Not it's even R- R- just R- said R- that shit on yes. Facebook I like an hour it. ago. I not seen even. it. He was like, any big, he was like, he said something about big to the heaven. He was like, yeah, my little brother right there with his freaky ass. I'm like, which one? He said, nigga, you too. I was like, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> I'm saying that's certain fair. people are friends with them. You already I'm know. I'm just not going to go. Yeah. It's not worth going. And, and it's not because they've done something with them 
it's just a simple fact you automatically get associated with a certain crowd. Correct. Yeah. And it may be a, an unfair assumption, but it's you, a safe one. Yeah, it yeah. is. It is. It's a safe one. Especially if if that person is friends or you are Facebook friends, let me specify that with an X. Mm. You definitely can't be that person's, you can't go there. Because, yeah. like, why do you know this person? Mm -hmm. Are you the reason why me and that person is not together? How long have <laughs> well, you known this person? Know Did you I know this shit? Phone and shit? So I already already know if that person is friend, how many degrees of separation you are from my ex. Because I've been I've been already through they they pages. Like I like to hack in that shit because I can. <laughs> like even when like I hacked in my, my cousin um See, boyfriend is, shit. This is the type of shit time. that scares me about dating. But because I'm just tacky, I'm just too smart for my own good. Like I just this here just don't big, you know, what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? this here just big and it just no shit. So I broke it to my cousin boyfriend page um on my phone one time, and just on the humbug shit, I was like, oh, I want to see what my nigga doing. I'm, I'm, I had no, what, you know why? what I'm saying. Because I could, Were you, because I could. simply, simply Not because, because she was she, doing anything, simply because I she could, because I knew how to break in his phone without. Him, I'm pretty sure if I walked around, phone. I could start knocking niggas out, <laughs> but I won't. I'm pretty sure I could. But that's, I feel like that's a, that's another level, though. Like that's violent. I'm not, I'm not hurting anybody. Activity. You are hurting people. No, she's not. You know, that hurts. You didn't release this information to him. Okay, so it's just between y'all. Yes, but still, you did it though. So let's go do some prop. Let's go do some shit like rob a bank or something. No, stop hacking niggas Facebook. Why would I could just? Let's I go. can't say that on here. But why would I go physically rob a bank when I could just do a different way? <laughs> you working too hard. I'm not trying to break no sweat and go to jail. Okay. She just said that she is techy. I know that's that, that was the point. Yeah. You see how? Yeah. You, you see how <laughs> shit fly over your head? Okay, but I'm just because why would we? If you can break into my Facebook, why the fuck we physically going in the bank? But you know, but you at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I do it. It's not necessary. necessary. Don't, you got to, don't make this all about me. Baby. Don't, don't go don't looking for something. On that one slide. You ain't gonna find something. Oh, I'm sorry. Did you forget where you was? I, no, I, I know where I'm at. Oh, I'm just know? wondering if you forgot who you was talking to. Can we bring on some love? Do we need an intel? <laughs> I don't know what he's on today. I don't either. I'm so taking I'm taking shots. I'm not right. taking shots. I'm podcasting. This Just want to let y'all know that y'all are loved over here. <laughs> Thank okay? you. I appreciate we love, that. I, I love y'all over this a, here. Is this a safe space? I'm, it's all. I'm, I'm feeling a little. I always say this is a safe very safe. Space. Space. I'm feeling a little. Wine is all. I'm safe space. Wine. You ain't know. Mm. Look, look, I, don't, I don't. I thought I was coming to see my fave fat guy, but I don't know. You are. I'm not. I ain't seen you in a while. You're picking on me and you're hurting my feelings. I'm saying if I had them, but that's how I would feel. Hey, I'm <laughs> here, okay. If I had them, motherfuckers. Tom, would you like to read, uh, read the first question? Okay. <laughs> yes, because please you, read the first. Question. You have caused such a commotion. I know. I am. Let's 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 stop bullshit. Okay. We've been here 30 40 minutes. minutes. Right. We've been here 40 minutes. I'm right. And the show was only an hour and a half. You just fucking up. Half the show gone, and he bullshit. All right. Have you ever struggled with being honest with yourself? about your own interest and your level of interest in somebody else. Yes. So to sum it up in a nutshell, have you ever really just like, I love this nigga, but I really don't love this nigga. I love what this nigga do for me. So love is a strong, very strong word for me. So I'm not going to use that, but I my level, like, like. my level, my level of interest has definitely been like, I like him, but really how much do i like him for real do i just like the convenience of him convenience is a fact or do i just like him as a whole like everything so yes the, the answer to that question is absolutely cuz like you said convenience is a thing like i got a it, question for both of y'all mm -hmm. i don't think this is y'all but i don't know how y'all are dating cuz i ain't dated y'all are y'all fixers Meaning, like, even Projects, you, you, you see, like him, you see something, but wrong. you know something ain't right. So you yeah. put forth the effort to try to get him out that. Like, you might see mama issues in that nigga a little bit, but you know that you just need someone to hug you a little bit more than normal. That was my problem, and I had to really look back. Like, I love this guy, but do I really see a future with this person? Like, is he really gonna be more than just this? So even though I was comfortable for those three years, because, you know, I'm a guy like we do everything together. He already know my jokes and he already know my attitudes. But I had to really sit back and be like, is he really going to be more than this? And this is what you want to tie yourself to and trying to fix 
oh, I can help you with that. Oh, I can show you this. Oh, you can do this. You can do that. But I had to understand that he just had no interest of being more than what he was already. Right. Because you're, so I had to you that. are a very skilled woman. Um, and I don't mean that in no like random sexual shit. I mean, actual, you know, a lot of shit because we both know a lot of shit together. Mm -hmm. Do you find yourself trying to look, bruh, you need to, you got this going on with you. You can do A, B, C, D. Have you thought about doing this? Or yes. have you gone here? Or, hey, let's get you enrolled in this. And then the nigga was like, eh, I'm just not interested in that. And you was like, okay, but I still love you. So whatever, we'll figure something out. Yep. That was the last situation. Just trying. To, I, I set up a whole fucking, <laughs> whole fucking trucking company. Whole fucking trucking company. Ooh. Yeah, I even got motherfucking funding for the trucking company. Hey, you know, hey, he hold on. <laughs> you know what he bought? Tennis shoes. To floss and to look good on social media. I'm like trying to start a business. Like, you know, priorities I'm, fucked I'm, up. I'm opening up a whole store. I got you the funding to, to start a business, and you worried about tennis shoes, so you can show the bitch on social media that you got them in tennis shoes. So I have to take the money back because you ain't we ain't vibing. Let's let, right. it's not about vibing. So, like, Why are you trying to get tennis shoes with the bitches the online? Page. That's what I'm saying. Like no. we sit down, we sit down, we we discuss we make strategize for us. And then once the money hit, and we, I'm like, okay, now we, we talked about this money here. Let's do X, Y, and Z. And your focus is, let me get this bitch attention who ain't paying me no attention. While I'm trying to get money, you in my way. So now I got to take the money back. You go over there with your tennis shoes <laughs> and your bitch and say, you figure life out. Now that is crazy. I don't understand. So no. yeah, I, I've been that person who's trying to fix shit, trying to, because I come from such humble beginnings that I've always tried to look and say, maybe if they just had an opportunity. I do, I do and give I people find, the benefit of I the doubt. I find that I end up staying too long in that shit. Correct. I've been knew that shit wasn't going to work and I should just carry my happy ass on a long time ago. I yes. stay too long and give people too much time trying to I, fix some I shit. I don't say I have a, I don't think I have. Me, you know what I'm just saying? Like, <laughs> yeah, yo, yo, I, felt, I felt the heat too. Every time she said tennis shoes, she looked directly at <laughs> <Yeah. you. laughs> Sorry, bro. You said. You, you set the tone. Call back. But you know what, though? I'll tell you, my priorities ain't never been fucked up over my tennis shoes. Okay, well, I'm, that's all that matters then. As long as, as, long as your priority is straight. What? With what those tennis shoes. What's happening? You know something I don't know? Because I, <laughs> I, 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 I ain't never did no goofball shit. And fucked up none of my money just trying to buy some sneakers. Okay, I give you that. But bills, you that are, bills pay on time. I ain't got no kids. I ain't got no bitches. So what else am I gonna do with my money? Once yeah, I, you sitting here what, waiting on the drop day uh, link. <laughs> All I'm saying, bro, like I don't have no other responsibilities outside of what I do. So once all my responsibilities is done, I can buy shoes. And I can flex for the bitches who not paying me no attention. But let me ask. <laughs> but it ain't fun to them. I buy shoes. I'm a sneakerhead. But let shoes. me ask you a question. You got a girl who you who, who likes you. Well, she she told you she like you. Right. Okay. She checks off ten of your thirteen boxes. Gotcha. You, you got to learn the other three are there. Right. That comes in time. It's a drop day. But it's also the day she wants to go to Chicago and do some shit. Right. Which one you choose her? No, we gonna go to Chicago. You're gonna miss and it's, it's the phone pause that you've been waiting on. Some shit is some shit come before that. Okay, I'm so, glad you but oh, but at the same time, you're talking to Juan. So before she even spring the Chicago shit on me, I already put my money to the side because I knew the shit. I knew for a fact these shoes was coming. I didn't know about the Chicago shit. So what you got to dip in your shoe budget? Nah, see, but once I, I already know something, that's already taken care of. You know how most niggas save for shit? They save for a rainy day. I got a shoe fund. <laughs> Even got if you got dipping your shoe budget. I got a shoe fund. That's dope. I, I never have to dip not in the dope. shoe. I never have to dip in the shoe. Why not? You should be investing in the shoe company. Yeah, that too. For what? So you can make but have see, your money make but money. See, this is this, see, and this is where dating and cross signals. You tell your girlfriend what she should be doing. It's not what she's interested. So you got the opportunity to make money. Why can't you do both? I'm not saying that you can't do both, but why wouldn't you do both? You, that's a good question, but you can't force what you think I should be oh, doing. Correct. No, 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 no. A nigga correct. who don't want to do. No, no, no. hold correct. up. It's not. That's, it's not that's what, forcing that's though. Essentially, that's essentially what she was saying is that she started him up like a whole trucking company, but because he wasn't interested in that shit, he bought shoes with the money, and she like, no, fuck that. 
So if you were, if this is what the fuck you want to do, then I'm gonna move around and let you and your shoes have your way. You drunk all your liquor, bro. You feel bad <laughs> because because that's not I feel that's really not, good. Yes. That's not that's not what we're doing. If right. I, like but we what, have a plan, and we we talked about some, we discussed right. something, right? About, and that's you know different. And a lot of a lot of problems that we have as women, as I have as a woman, is I always have to be the head of the household, even when I'm with a man, because they don't have they have no initiative to want to lead or want that responsibility they just want to be and in then that space some men wonder like, I, wonder I, I why like we, act, on some shit. we act the way that we do we're we're almost forced to act the way that we do until someone comes in and takes over that responsibility we're forced to be masculine or hard or would, whatever other adjective that you want to use because to be submissive and soft and dainty it's listen not cards it's, I've been but if I if I see that you're not doing the shit and I'm not well, who the fuck is gonna do it? If I'm not doing it, you're not doing it. We don't want two motherfuckers here, so so it got to get done somehow. So if you're not gonna do the shit, then obviously I have to do the shit that I've been doing. I just feel like men these days. I'm not gonna say all men, but some of these men these days have got so consumed in what women get to do and what women get and what women they they trying they want to be they want all the stuff that women want get so bad like they losing sight that you a man and this is why you, shit don't happen. Okay, like this. so. As as women, do y'all acknowledge the fact that times have changed? Yes, yes times have absolutely changed. I'm not, I'm, not say, I'm, I'm not saying that your man gonna be a woman. I just feel like there, so what's your there, there aren't as many traditional old school niggas as women would like. Because okay, so it, there, I, there are a lot of. I feel like there are more men. Who grew up like me versus somebody else? So what was like, your, what was when your I say that, I'm like, well, you know, you grew up and you watched your moms do that shit. So when you watch your mom do that shit, when you go out and you look for women, most of your first reference to what kind of girl you want, you want somebody like your mom. Okay, and so if I watch my mama get it out the mud. And do that shit. When I come to this relationship, I'm looking at it like, well, this could be 50 50 because I know what I'm gonna bring. What, where I'm just saying, that's how that's, niggas that's be that's looking at it. That's what his problem is. What, why is that a problem? You so listen, for your woman to be your mother. No, 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 so, no, no listen, that's not I, what I I'm saying. That, but what, what my point is, I disagree with both of you. So, my point is, so yes, your mother had six jobs, raised 10 kids on her own, two side hustles, miss me like. All of this shit, just so you know, she could provide for her kids, her roof over your head, lights, clothes, everything that y'all wanted. Y'all never wanted for nothing. So now you're looking for a woman to do the exact same thing. No, no, no. Absolutely I'm, the fuck I'm not. looking for my woman to wake up and not have a problem with going to work. I'm so, looking for my woman to, when I say, all right, this is, these are the bills, what you want to split type shit. So listen. I'm just saying. So li I'm, so... Because, so I don't. What you mean? Why I don't. Are I don't. I don't split? necessarily. I, I, I don't necessarily that. disagree with splitting. My my only issue is, so you say you want a woman like your mother, but like she said. First of all, I'm like not. My mama. First of all, I'm not. I, absolutely not. First I met, of all, I'm I not. My mama. <laughs> <laughs> oh my I'm first, first of all, I'm not my your mother. Too. Secondly, just because you watched your mother do it all, nine times out of ten, she was probably struggling. One straw, one wrong move, and all that shit was crashing down. So you shouldn't want your woman to be in the same predicament. You should right. want to come in and see that nine times out of ten, she's already doing it all by herself. Kids, no kids, whatever the case may be. She's already doing it all by herself. As a man, you should want to come in and take a load off. Let me help you. You coming in and want to just pay a half of a cable bill, a half of this. That ain't doing shit. I'm already paying the whole. So Listen, really are I'm already taking care table? of my entire household on my own. Now you come in talking about splitting shit. For what? Well, well splitting. Split? I've been okay. I've been doing so. this shit. I've been doing this shit on my own for a long time. I okay, but, come in. okay, you're right. You've been doing it on your own. But now, once you decide to merge your life with someone else, it is a us thing. It absolutely. This ain't is. this ain't your house. It ain't just my house. It's our house. So okay. so, so this my is definition. Thing okay, now. so my definition of splitting could be completely different than someone else's definition of splitting. Right. I ain't saying if the light bill is fucking 250 where you're half at. I'm saying, well, if I paid the light bill 
grab the cable bill. That's the lesser of the two bills. That okay. is what I yeah. look at okay. in splitting yeah. because I got to see how my mama got it out the mud, and then I got to watch my step pops walk in and be like, "You ain't got to work about. It. You ain't got to worry about that. I got it." And so that's I know how what it both sides be. Right. look like. I'm like, that's that's absolutely how it should be because again, if a woman has been doing it all for X amount of years, they're looking. If a man comes into her life. She's not still looking to do it all because at this point you're just another fucking dependent. I don't want, I don't Jeez. want another fucking. De- <laughs> Take a mood I don't want Girl, another fucking dependent. I don't. That's not what I need in my life. I need an equal. I need someone who's gonna meet me where I'm at. Niggas always talking about some. What you bring to the table? I bring the table to the table, motherfucker. What do you bring? It's already set. First of all, you know which fork to use first. First of all, hello. hello? First of all. Fuck your table. I bring a whole nother table. So the question is, is do we put these two tables together? That's we you. But a lot, two tables a lot of these niggas are asking, one. what do you bring to the table? A lot of these dudes are not bring, or they ask what you bring to the table. They, they ain't even got a chair to pull up. Bags. They yeah. don't even got a chair to pull up to the motherfucking table. What I'm bringing to the table, and you, your all, life need, is in four garbage bags. I need you niggas. <laughs> I need you niggas Four to garbage level bags up and, the Xbox. and use a suitcase at the same time. Respect Where are you gonna get a suitcase from, his girl? Oh, if you collect, <laughs> if you, you get if you say, if you use your cold cash correctly, you can save money <laughs> on the motherfucking suitcase. But First at, of all. at the same time, but you got women who be like, well, "What you bring to the table? What if what I bring to the table? Your table can't handle." Your table wobbling. Right your table wobbling. We gotta prop your shit up with a book. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like what fuck, you what you got an end table, table, you got a coffee table, table, you got a card table. This shit bowed at the bottom. Hey. Your shit made of oak is it sturdy? Like everybody always saying, What you bring to the table, bitch. You don't got a table. <laughs> You don't got a house to put the table in. First you all, down bad just like me. Why are we how how coming table? up your cousin's house? Are you talking about? Like, Ooh, you your listen, house, you talking about what okay. I bring to the table? That be so, your cousin's house. You I living need. in the basement of your auntie, sister, and my brother's house, Ooh. and you trying to ask me what do I bring to the table? A nigga, table, nigga, because you don't got. You one. ain't got shit. Okay. You asking so. me for a ride to work? Like, sir, so what are you what doing? We, so what we need to do? What we need to start doing is at number some, one. At some point, at some point, yes. Okay, you need to live. I got that. Do but you? Because this sounds like this gonna come back and bite folks. No, <laughs> but at some point, I need you to get your life together. Okay, as as a grown adult, yes. There we are, are grown some now. Things, there are We're some grown. things that <laughs> like, there are some things that should be. Check out in a minute. <laughs> no, Speak maybe you. Yourself. I'm like no, maybe <laughs> maybe you. I'm not Speak not checking out no time soon. I'm here. Um, but there are things that you should have as a minimum, mm-hmm. and so I can understand that if at a point in time you don't have those things, obviously. Life is not fucking easy. We're not fucking billionaires, so we don't have everything all the time. We don't Look. have money at our disposal. So Look. I can understand at some point things get hard, you fall off, shit happens. Cool. But at what point do you regroup? Look and get your life back together I, and get back on track. Hold on. I've never all heard that, all speak that, like this about a woman. Hold on. You haven't? I haven't. All that you shit. said is, is nice and shit like that. But everybody in this room, the majority of people that listen to this show, is like 34 and up that basic necessity shit is doesn't matter if you ain't got a car a crib or a source of income it's a no-go we're not even considering correct. you it's exactly. correct no nah, i'm down bad i ain't got none of that and i still slang that shut the fuck but up. that's all oh you can God. slang that's all you got though bro and <laughs> after so a sick. while it be slanging dick becomes empties Bitches don't call you after a while, so you starting that rotation all the way over again. Now you back on Facebook dating, looking for the next bitch to accept the fact that you just slanging dick, and shits get hollow. Then you and turn thirty eight, and the now you slanging dick, dick to a twenty five year old. Enhancements for the dicks and stuff. Don't you want mm. to get your woman before you have to need the enhancements and all that shit? Don't y'all start to go bad in your late thirties? I mean forties. No man. No man. No, I'm 35, no, but my dick still work. I can get it out I'm right I'm now. In, I'm in my need not proof. right now. Oh, no. I'm, oh, I'm, 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 I'm just asking. I'm just asking. I know who I'm talking to. I'm going to take your word for it. I am, in, I am in my 40s, and I will gladly show you what love is. So, oh, mama. 
I, I, I heard different men say that you know when they get to their mid forties they start to have some issues. But I'm yeah. asking. Na- but know. that's natural. That's natural. That's so- Everybody's body changes when you get older because we start doing things differently. Like with so many of us now working work from home jobs. We're not as active as we used to be. We're right. gaining weight or we're losing excessive weight. Therefore, our bodies is acting different. We're starting to get joint pains because we're not moving around like we used to be and whatnot. So as you get older, you're going to have issues, period, unless you nip it in the bud early. But at the same time, you can only go for so long looking for physical love only. Because right. after a while, where's the intimacy? Right. After a while, where is the camaraderie? After a while, where is the someone that you can be like, yo, I'm having a rough day and I just want to be able to vent to you. And they don't look at it like you venting before you even get an opportunity to say this day is fucked up. They asking you already how your day is while rubbing your scalp and playing in your hair. You know what I'm saying? Or you walk in the door or. I, I, or you I just simply here. you just, just simply want to be in that person's yeah, presence, like just si- their presence. Like you come home and they look at you, oh shit, it's Monday, so this nigga finna watch wrestling. And either they in there asking you questions about it because they know this is what you into, you know they don't give a fuck, Please don't. or they leave you alone. Look, I ain't got no problem asking questions. Ask me, hey, ain't that such and such? Yes, it's not the Rock. No, he's been not been here all the time. Please don't go crazy <laughs> over him. Get out of my room. <laughs> you know, it was cool like, with that. Something, some for some. For some people speak, okay, I want to say something. For me, being in my person's presence is enough. Like, I just want to be with you, be around you. You can do whatever you want. I don't, preferably, I would like to be touching you, but I don't even have to touch you. I used to be like that. You can be on this couch. But then I can I be on that physical. couch. I'm. We're in the same room. We're experiencing each other's presence. Watching TV, you're like you said, it's Monday. You finna watch wrestling. All right. I don't know what the fuck going on, but I'm gonna watch this shit because this is what you're watching. And eventually you're gonna find right. somebody you're gonna like. And next mm-hmm. thing you know it, you're watching it on Monday with me. That's, that's, that's how, that's how I, I got like, into so reality into, TV. I'm so into yeah, that's sports. how I got into certain TV shows. I'm so into football and, and and basketball now. Like I'm watching college sports and all this stuff just because you you sitting there. Right, and, I, and now, now you now become I'm interested, and now I'm I'm not like making GPTs to find it, to help me get my prize picks so I can gamble. <laughs> so, you know what I'm saying? So like I I get into it, like I get into yeah. the person that I'm with because you naturally just want yeah to see how you I want can spend you more want time to have commonality. Right. Like right. Juan say, he got into reality TVs because of that. I got into watching cooking shows because the girl's mom used to watch all that shit. Next thing you know, we sitting up there at the pub going, hey, man, did that one chick make it past the next round? Man, fuck her, dog. This bitch should have went home and said her. Like, I'm more into the show to the point where I'm getting yelled at because I'm four episodes ahead of you. Like, look, you've been at work too much. I had to figure out what the fuck was going on. <laughs> you know what those those yeah. are fighting words, though. Yeah, please. they yeah, are. Don't, watch, don't keep watching my show. I'll put it, you on. Right. That, that's why. I started you that's on to why, this shit. That's, that's like why for every, But that's why for every streaming service, there's family one. I mean, there's mine. I can go over here and watch all my shit, and you don't know I'm ahead of you. I go back over here and I watch, and I'll be acting, I could be in my phone, I'll be looking up shit, and then be like, oh, damn, what? No, that bitch didn't. No one, I already know what happened three weeks ago. That, that was a nasty rabbit hole of my life. I was in oh, that man. rabbit hole was so disgusting. The reality TV, yeah, like, bro, bro that's the only. It was so nasty. I was looking forward to this shit. <laughs> like can I knew I, that that was being back. Can I can, I, back can, I, can I ask what show it was? We're supposed to love and hip hop. Oh, okay. Like all that shit, love and hip hop, and whatever, like whatever that block. And it was crazy because that block is on Monday. Yes. Which means I was giving up wrestling for this, bro. Oh, you oh loved that's her. crazy. I was loving. It. You loved like, her. You, you I was like, right. I watched the replay on wrestling, but hey, yo, love and hip hop Atlanta. Yeah, let's watch that. What <laughs> <laughs> Kirk and Rashida going through now? <laughs> Some oh, bullshit. <laughs> That ain't shit. That's how I got to watch Keisha Cole the way it is. Because she was into that shit. I'm like, why am I here? Really got said, why am I here? Why am I here? But fuck Nessie. You know? <laughs> sure. All right, Pete. All right, Pete. There's certain refs that I don't like. There's certain teams that I don't like. I got players on teams that I got beef with today. You got beef with they them. Don't, don't even know. know. They don't know, but when I see them in the streets, they're going to have to see me. Because <laughs> <laughs> of how they did my Giannis or how they did my LeBron, they're going to have to see me. <laughs> That's another reason why I noticed, like, over the course of the last couple of years, 
we got a lot of random Bucks fans. We've been getting a lot of random Packer fans. And I'm like, how have you bitches don't like this shit? Because you wasn't liking it before. So why are you all in it now? Oh, oh you just here because we winning. And I thought about it. No, it's not because you're winning. It's because it's because you're spending time with your man. Uh-huh. And because you're spending time with your man, your man got you watching all of this. So now you you a Bucks fan because that's the only team you really pay attention to. Type shit. You don't now, know who everywhere else. Now, Go before on. I started, I was Bucks and Packers. Now I got my backup teams because my Bucks and Packers tend to fuck up sometimes. You know what I'm saying? All and then I'll be up. there wishing and praying and once thinking about how can I make this um petition to get this coach off this team. <laughs> 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 I've been wanting to get people fired. Like he need to go. You cannot, he is not helping. You cannot be a black Karen. That's just not how this works. <laughs> I'm not a black Karen. <laughs> well, you not, sound like not one. how many, no, how many no. baddies watch wrestling. I be having money on shit. Karen just be doing shit because Karen be doing shit. They've been and lost me like two hundred dollars. That was a wig. See, we got, stop. Baby. We got a, <laughs> You got another question <laughs> I on the back? Stop, 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 stop betting on everything, dog. You got to learn how to live your life. You got to enjoy it. Stop trying to get paid. Hey, no, that is her life. I like right. getting paid. Whore. <laughs> well, well I'm like, if it, if it makes money, why not, why not? Why not? Why be a hoe when you can be a whore? I said whore. Why would you do shit for free? I said a whore. I never whore. understood that yeah. shit. No, no, no. I'm not saying whore like sexually whore. It's just no, you I do stuff for money. That's whore. Yeah, absolutely. I don't know why, why would you do anything for free? Correct. In this, in this economy, we, we live in It's life. money everywhere. Come on. In this world? It's an American people, way. Niggas, niggas pay I'm an American. Every day. Are I'm you? American. I'm looking Are for the money and everything. That's All right. Good. Question. How can you effectively communicate your boundaries and limitations without feeling guilty to your partner? That seems to be the big thing right now, too. If you don't like something, you're not interested in it, but you do it because he or she, because sexuality is a spectrum, likes it. How do you let them know without feeling like you feel bad for doing that? I don't ever feel bad. I'm a Capricorn. I just, I just tell you. You're just you. horrible. I'm not going to feel bad. My boundaries okay. are my boundaries. Yes. And if you don't like them, then, then we're, not, we're not a match. This is bad. Don't Y'all lie. been together. Okay. So he wants you to watch wrestling. You give no fucks about wrestling. You tried. It don't work. So, but listen, some some, some things, go. some things are non-negotiable, and then other things are okay because I like you. We fuck with each other. You done probably tolerated some bullshit that you have no interest in, are never going to do or watch again but for the sake of me you tolerated it so like anime the same. like you know damn well you not gonna like anime right you tolerated right. it i think correct i think i would like you more if you if you respected my boundaries like because it's just some shit that like it's cool we could do it together but at the end of the day like some shit you gotta understand that that's my long time yeah, like, I get that. It's cool if you want to every once in a while. Oh, babe, give me a joystick. Let me play the game with you. Yeah. But at the end of the day, you got to understand that this is how I decompress. This yeah. is my alone yeah. time. And so when actually, that Xbox I beat, probably, come on, you need to be nowhere near me. Personally speaking, I'm not going to necessarily insert myself like just on some random shit. Like if you ask me, hey, you going to come and watch wrestling with me tonight? Yeah, sure. I don't care. But if you never presented the idea, you wouldn't just invite yeah, yourself. I'm probably not just gonna invite myself because nine times ten, I don't give a fuck. The brat, see? So, <laughs> like, I would, I would if this is be doing my own thing anyway, right, so, right. Like, so I'm, gonna I'm gonna, you, I'm gonna but... figure out something else that I want to do in that moment while you're watching wrestling. Great, because we need to have two separate lives. We don't need to have everything together. Do everything you mean together. To miss you. Correct. Hey, when a chick tell me she ain't got no friends, red flag. <laughs> Definitely no. Real I ain't talk. fucking with you. If you don't yeah, got because, no yeah, friends. Yeah, because that means you're gonna be you're gonna be up under me twenty four seven. No, no, it's Get not even here. that. If or you ain't got no friends, me. that means that it's you. That no matter no matter what you will say That's that you. they did, you did, it's you. Right, because why you had nobody? Nobody. So there's no woman has not one nobody in your life that you can call a friend. In Even the times of need, and the time, a that time round somebody that wants to be a millionaire, you be out. I was about to say somebody to just yeah. somebody to just chop it up with, like, hey, how you doing? Hey, what up, what up, my nigga? Happy Friday! It's the weekend. Let's get it. Like just some random no. shit like that. You ain't she, got nobody. She got nobody. So nobody. there's no, there's that's nobody that's in your that. life not that you can that you can say hi. Is you and Wix set? 
I would be suspicious <laughs> if a dude told me I don't have no friend. I don't hang with nobody. I because why know. why you don't hang on why right. for what reason that's gonna be how yeah. many of your ex friends baby mamas have you fucked bro <laughs> right that's exactly how many right. how many uh, how many niggas have you snaked you right. right you didn't back you that means you didn't back door yeah. you didn't so, back door so you plenty feel the same way about a woman i'll feel the same way about a woman how many of your your friends and your cousins man you don't fuck with because right. nobody's fucking with you how many so, cousins right. faiths are you you're, you're the hard then ah. you, you're the host you're the host. right like when people would just be like yeah i ain't got no like, what? Why you got no? I, I hate when that. I see people that I fuck with say that shit on the internet. Yeah, N- I ain't got no friend. Well, you ain't got wine no more, bitch. <laughs> you right? You don't got no friend. What stupid shit is this? Then they call you. What you doing? Nothing. You stupid motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, you don't same. got no friends. Remember why did you call friends me? Friends I've been having for the last what 15, 20 years. My friends have really changed. I'm, I made met some new associates here and there, but my diehard friends have been my friends since the beginning. And we don't talk every day, but if I call them in the middle of the night, like, bitch, I'm going through something. They, what you going through? Or who? I You're not to supposed to talk to your saying, friends all the time. So I will say that in the past couple of years, people who I thought were friends oh my. have been falling off, but I'm actually okay with that because that it's just for me, it's just another level of growth. Yeah. So it might not be the, that they falling off. It's just no, they they falling. They falling off. This, this, we're potting. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. Like, no, to they the wayside. Go. They dying. Gone. Like leaves. Like you, know, I, I, you outgrow some of your friends. Yeah, and that's, I'm like, and that's grow. completely okay. I used to hang with a bunch of girls. I told them, no, I used to have a bunch of girls around me, young girls, and I used to throw my parties and they part of it because they were young and stuff. And they was younger. They was on a different level. And when I got tired of it, they didn't understand. They wanted to keep dancing. And I'm like, I got skills. Like, I could actually do some shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, I don't want to deal with drunk niggas every day. You know what I'm right. saying? Like, the money is good. It's fun. But it's also a headache. It's right. Also like, yeah. What what comes what with saying? that like, fun? Right. So it's like, they they don't they didn't understand why I, I went and got an office job. And, you know, I went and got a government job. Like, oh, you oh you just this, this, that. Look, honey. <laughs> I, yes, I could double in the streets, but I'm 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 smart, so I don't have to swing around the pole and shake my little titties and my little ass. You know what I'm saying? I, I don't have to do fun, right. I can I, I can do that, but I can do this it. too. Right? You know, like y'all need to do some other shit that, that, that y'all you know. But then they had some kids, and now you forced to go get some jobs now because that shit didn't didn't last forever. And I was trying to tell them like y'all killing that shit. Them titties is high now, but baby, <laughs> <laughs> couple pregnancies, the motherfuckers gonna be in your lap with your kids. Now you can't do this shit forever. <laughs> I fuck with the long titties. Hey, I fuck with it too. <laughs> shit, every day. <laughs> Look, a nice, good long titty while riding. Shit. Oh my god. Chocolate, chocolate, like, it's good. Cho- it's chocolate good udders. Both of our backs. You know, like, <laughs> you ain't trying to lean up, and I ain't trying to lean down. Right, my fucking just, just right there, there for you. <laughs> <laughs> like fruit roll-ups. This guy think about. <laughs> this is perfect. Roll them up without the bras. <laughs> <laughs> the only titties I have problems with are deflated titties. I don't like big titties. No. Is that crazy? I don't like big deflated titties. ones. If, they, if a woman got smaller titties, like like nice C cups, I'm good for it. If you got some big ass titties, I'm I don't like big ass titties. I got rid of my big ass titties. You ever, <laughs> you ever seen what it looked like when you let the air out of a balloon? <laughs> if your titties look like that, I'm not your guy. You so I don't give a I mean, f- I still love you. I don't give a fuck if that's body. Shame. I won't love on you for a while. I feel like I. I mean, I don't really. You know what? I won't I say that because nine times ten, if your titties are deflated, that means they were big. You probably had a lot of milk when the yeah, milk dried kids, up. You lost weight. It's a lot of reasons. It's a lot of reasons. Can be that I way, will never body shame you know a woman what the thing about- unless you wouldn't got work done to get bigger and it don't look right. Now I'll body shame. <laughs> You One chose thing about that. me is I've I've always dated a, a bigger guy, you know what I'm saying? And they would be like, Why are you with me? You know what I'm saying? I'm like, damn, nigga, get your confidence up. Right. I, I chose you for a reason. Right. I, I, you know, I just not really catch. into a skinny dude. I like a little hey man, sometimes it, it, a little it, it be it'd be a little it'd be a little funny in the light. It'd be very funny. Y'all make sure you hear from me. Yeah, dog, but you don't be like, Why are you with me? Like you could do better than me. Like that's what I hear when someone say that. I would ne- you can't. Nah, you can't. That is what it sounds when a, when someone asks better than why that's are impossible. you with me? That makes me feel like you don't value yourself and you feel like your mate can do better than you. Which is why I feel like a lot of people do some of the pettiest, most insecure things in their relationship because right. they know they got somebody good and they scared that person going to lead them once they figure out that you really are the broke one. 
<laughs> and how do you get over? Can can you like grow out of being nonchalant? Yes. No. Yes, you can. <laughs> you can <laughs> if you want to. Okay. That's right, active work. Okay, because so you actually, cannot care about how you proceed. But if it's somebody you care about, right, and you know your nonchalantness is affecting them, yes. you're gonna put forth a little bit of effort to do more. I'm a very nonchalant, out of sight, out of mind dude. Fact. Very like Fact. I have so many people who I'm cool with, and it was like I ain't talked to you in a week and I just ain't thought about you to care about to figure out that I ain't talked to you in a week. Like I get eyes and tell me we gonna fight when I see you. No, you're not, because who is this again? Oh like <laughs> I'm I'm that kind of nonchalant person. So but I'm not that nonchalant, but I, I won't I say be. I recently I I won't say that I recently figured it out. It was recently brought more to the forefront of my mind just how nonchalant I yeah. really am. And like, so I did a, I did an IG poll because somebody told me I was not showing. I was like, I can see know? that. I was like, I'm, I think I'm actually very emotional. Just, just no, just no, you know, like, bitch, you, <laughs> bitch, you've been to Milan. You nonchalant. Okay. <laughs> um, I was like, I actually think I'm very emotional. So I did an IG poll and it was 70, 30, like, <laughs> you yeah, you nonchalant. And I was like me nonchalant. And then once it was brought to my attention, I started noticing like my habits and stuff and how how many times I just really say to myself, I don't give a fuck. What does this have to do with me? I don't care. Why do you care? Why is this important? This is not important to me. None of this matters. And it it is not that I don't care because if no, if, you don't care. If you my friend, I try to value the how you feel about certain things but right. it'd be like the shit that you do care about or like in this moment that you're caring about like that's minuscule yes to me. yes like i got a very bad habit of like i don't really i don't know how to get off the phone <laughs> so when you say i'm gonna call you back is click you already ended you ended the conversation you said you're gonna call me back oh it's so so silly. i hang up right up just hang up like in the face you got to go because if, if you don't people keep talking and then like i'm taking my I, first way out too oh man and I'm, yeah, I'm trying to get out this yeah like i'll hang up and then like a minute later the phone rang again I'm like oh hello what up why you just hang up I'm, it's it's a thing it's, <laughs> like, we was done. it's I would. That be I, my, yes. You said we was you done. Said, you you said, said I'm gonna call you, you back. I'm gonna call you back. Is this the call back or is this not the call back? <laughs> you said you was gonna call me back. It was okay. Click. Like right. all, the, all the one swift motion. Okay. Click. Like and that's just be like that's it. That's all. You like, act like you don't care about it. And I'm like, man, we, what are we talking about? You said I'm gonna call you back. I said okay, and I hung up. Like that. That's that. You like, want me to say bye? Like you want me to say bye? Like what do you? Want? Time, no, you hang up. No, you hang up. No, I'm, not, I'm not. I'm not. Grow the fuck up, but that's what you waiting for on the phone. <laughs> 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 I, it just be like, no, you. I'm not like, gonna play with you. you but like you don't I, care about something. Yeah, so I, like I guess my non, my nonchalantness, I feel like, comes from, as I stated earlier, I usually don't get the same energy that I put out, and that's not even just in relationships. That's just overall Life. just because i'm a very loving caring person in Are general you? yeah i can't tell <laughs> no i'm I not saying i'm not no 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 <laughs> i'm not knocking you because i believe i i believe i didn't say it was it's just lie. that I I never we've saw. never seen that side of you yes i i actually am like when i when i fuck with you i really fuck with like I'm, so you don't like fuck I, with us? That would you say? Oh my god! Now you gonna win over here? Right? Oh, yeah. win. Like I, so, I thought y'all. I, I thought this was. I'm not like you. Know. Know. He, he on bullshit. But <laughs> I thought this was love towards but you. To y'all being attacked. Right? But the I, like, y'all bring us over here to attack us. No, never, no love never. one day. I've been showing y'all love. Shut up. Uh, <laughs> no, it's because we've never seen you with the mate you tend to keep your boyfriends or potential like to, yourself. The, to yourself until he's official Correct. and that's why because we you know us we don't bring nobody around until we ready for y'all to know who this is right because let's be honest we all assholes and you got to be prepared for us you got to be prepared you got to make sure that well, that's not <laughs> you might so i might because, want the bros to know who i'm fucking so right. you can stay away that's about it. I'm hitting this right now. Not your. That's goal. it. That's not your. <laughs> that's all you're gonna get. But bringing you around, and you never bring anybody around us because we've heard you say, "Well, I'm talking to such and such." Your close, close friends, 
you know, may know, like Trey may know who it be. Correct. We don't know I'm until worried. we find out that's not there no more. I'm waiting on the party. So we, we don't never see you and Denise bring a plug in love. That's what I'm waiting on. And you, you nine times, like you said, until it's actually something worth mentioning, yeah. you won't. So that's why we say, and even though Trey, you're saying it, Trey it's hard for and us to my sister are probably the only you got a two sister? people. My cousin. Oh, I was like, that's, what the hell else you been keeping? That might as well be my fucking sister. Damn, I was just like, I thought you was a holy, holy child. I, I am. I, I, I do that too. By, oh, by definition, I absolutely sister. am an only child. However, I have a cousin who I grew up with. Oh. We talk every day. Like, 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 it was just yeah. funny that she said sister, and we like, what right? Else what? From us? <laughs> what else well, do we that's, do? That's you know your dad? Like, <laughs> the fuck? Because we've only seen you and your mom. So, like, you're right, but. I talk to dude. I fuck with him. I was like, him. does he exist? Yeah, like, I fuck with him. Okay. You fuck with him? A little bit? Yeah. A lot you never bit? talk about him. A little him. bit, actually. Okay, because you, you, you never speak of him. Hold up. Yeah. But stay there. How much does he play a factor in what you look for in men? Because yeah. y'all relationship ain't as tight as yours and your mom's. Correct. But does he play a factor in your decisions when it comes to men? No. Like Because no. he, hasn't, he hasn't played that much of an influence in my life to be like... I do or don't want somebody who's like my dad. Gotcha. So I he wasn't. I don't want nobody like my dad. That's the I try the opposite of my dad. He's very. But you know, you end up. I feel like he's like dad, right. My, I, him. I feel See? like my father was the the man that was there in the critical moments when shit counted for real. For real, he was absolutely there. You know, all the major milestones, he was there. But some other things that you know I may have wanted him there for. He was like, eh, I'll see. And then he just decided later on. I like, hate that. Nah. I'll see I'm what not, I can do and then just not, don't do. That's not my vibe. Yeah, well, I married well, my husband. Welcome to the discovery of your nonchalant. <laughs> I married my husband <laughs> and didn't realize he was like my dad because I didn't know my dad at the time I married my husband. I married my husband when I was 20 and I met my dad for the first time when I was 23. Oh, and, and that was right around the time I realized that I was in a very, very abusive marriage and I wanted to get out. And then when I met my dad and the things that he was saying, I was like, these motherfuckers kind of like you're the same damn, person and shit. Damn person, you know what I'm saying? Like, I really went out here and found somebody exactly like him because the, the way they, they had the mindset, the way they thought, um, they wanted to be the boss. They wanted to be everything that a man had. My my, my um, ex husband and my daddy. They, they want all the titles and all the benefits that come for being the man of the head of the household. They just want none of the responsibility. <laughs> you can they do want that. all the perks, right? You so, want so all. You can do that. But they you want, want all the none of the responsibility. Like, you can all do of that. the benefits and all the titles, like but that? you don't want any responsibility. How does that work? No. And it's so crazy because I met when I met my dad, I went down to Texas and I, I met his wife and she was from Africa. And, you know, she didn't know a lot of things. And she telling me. Oh, that's how, how to get away with it. Let me tell you, when this is me and my daddy fell out. We met for the first time and we fell out right in the same week, <laughs> the same week, because his wife is telling me how hard she has it. She's like, I had to take your sister, your little sister, um, you know, to the doctor. And it's one hundred and eighty dollars every time. I'm like, why are you paying out of pocket? You know, there's free health care in this country. No. What do you mean? No, you you think that she's like, oh, and then we have to, you know, we have to buy food, and you know, I'm shopping at the Goodwill. Like, why are you shopping at the Goodwill? There's a Walmart. Wait, you can you can buy food, food at the Goodwill. Like, no, says I'm telling her all this stuff that Hold my on. dad First had this in this country for like nine years and never told her all this stuff. Had this woman paying out of pocket because he didn't want to go on child support. What? While well, he's not working. Boy, if you don't get the fuck. <laughs> I'm like, just buy me some shoes. I said, I'm sorry. (laughs) When I think about me asking for a pair of tennis shoes compared to what women subject themselves to, and I'll be like, what the fuck? She left my dad and got her African. I was like, I should do go home. But he got upset because before I left, I was like, where your phone book at? She's like, I don't even know what agency to to talk to. I just need need the front of your phone book, honey. This is how long ago it was. Right. Like, and I went through the front of her phone book. I said, this is who you call for your 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 food stamps and this is who you call for your health care and you don't pay for shit else and she's like what do i tell him you what do they ask me about my husband you give him his name you don't tell her that you give him that nigga name <laughs> <laughs> his name is harold you tell him right where he at he ain't hiding <laughs> from shit you got, i'm 23 harold. you ain't pay for shit for me you gonna pay for somebody listen okay hello 
and and he got mad at me because I, I before I left, I signed her up for everything. Because why is she paying $180 for wellness visits when she could be getting the shit for free? Right. Wellness. Can't, 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 can't trust a nigga named Harold. <laughs> I, I don't even eat Harold's they, chicken. chicken. I, don't, I don't even get a chicken from done. He got like five sons and named all of them Harold, Harold something. Oh and ain't God. there for none of them. You just wanted them all to know your name, so you gave them your name. Oh ain't God. no creativity there? Hey, you know Crazy what I mean? I don't even respect him for doing that shit. No, that's that shit was dumb. That don't mean you got to name George all five that's of your kids, stupid. George. Even your that's girls. Dumb. Yeah, that's dumb. That's just dumb. That's childish. So on the 18th birthday, uh, we got to change this. I wouldn't even wait to 18, nigga. Who the fuck George, nigga? Nigga, I'm at 16, I'm getting I'm emancipated. What the fuck you the sex name, bitch ass? <laughs> name me Georgia. Anything. I would take that over George. Come on, I actually, I actually agree with you when you said welcome to your nonchalantness. I actually agree with you on that um, because my mother, when I say I like, I, I think I'm very an emotional person, but in conversations with my mother, she tells me a lot of times that I act like my father. Mm. So I can absolutely understand that and say, well, actually you're probably right because he is very mild mannered, super chill. Like, He's never raised his voice at me. I've you never seen him get out of character. You've gotten out of character. He sound like he asked you, but did you die? <laughs> damn near. And you that's be like, damn nah, near. I'm okay. He's like, well, I like this. That's, de- like, that's damn near his. What you crying about? That's, de- that's damn near his attitude. He's just your super. Daddy, your daddy stress free, ain't it? Yes. That's very. That, very man, stre- like When you don't got don't, no problems in life, everything comes across not because I'm chilling. He His response is. Okay. Because he right. ain't going to stress over. I got you. He'll, so he else? might be going crazy so inside. Gonna, we'll talk. Okay. Yeah, that's fine. We'll we'll figure it out. Hey, uh-huh. is that a, is that a I ra- understand. Is that a Ratchet Luxury shirt? It is. Oh. Heavy on the luxury. Do do he ever figure it out? And he does. That's what I'm saying. Does. So did you die? <laughs> I did not, but I'm definitely hey, going to the, stress over say? it for a minute. We are at 121. All right. We got one more question, then we're going to go home. Because I got to get y'all home. Because <laughs> I got to go home. So you got to go home. <laughs> right. got to get me home. I'm not taking you home. Got to get you I'm home. Can I take you home, girl? Shout out to Jamie Foxx. Which one? Yo, one. That, one clone? You know what? I'm actually upset. <laughs> oh, stop it. Kay Michelle is here right now. Who? Kay Michelle. Where? At the Pfizer? Yeah. Yes. Oh. That big ass booty. It's not that no, big. She, I'm like she got. I'm like she, she definitely got. No, it. no. She I got, like. I like the natural I like look the on new her. Look now. I like. I the like. I look. like the regular healthy look. I like look it on, on her. her and um, Black China. I like how they look now that they don't. Yeah, you that take shit. all that ant booty off and you yeah. just naturally you with, with the proper show. hip to ass ratio. Right, because she had got so wide at one point. I thought that shit was going to explode. Yeah, it didn't. I'm glad she got rid of that. That had got. I love her for that. Too wide. And I wanted a, I wanted my butt done for so long, and then you I started seeing. Do. No, I don't. I I'm started, glad you no, got out of that. I started seeing the fucking um, the booties that just didn't come out right, and I'm like, look, I ain't got no money like that. I only got one shot of this shit. <laughs> a bitch gonna be on botch. <laughs> like, hey, what? I'm this? like, I need you to fix this. And I was okay. like, you speaking know what? Of, I've been speaking cool of that, with this little booty. Shout out to Kelly, uh, right. Kelly Kells because her movie botched, which is actually about BBLs, is the number one movie on Tubi. Hey, oh, I gotta go watch period. that. I love. I her. watched it. It's funny as hell. I gotta go watch that. I love her. She is hilarious. She's funny, but she's more serious in this movie than she's funny. So that's why I like that. I, I, I like this one. I home. haven't seen her do something in a while. But I'm now, sh- and it's I'm funny because she plays the role of somebody giving BBLs. But if you've ever seen her, right, it looked you, like she got, she a got BBL, ass, but yeah. it's all natural. Ass, 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 that's all. She had her. the ass before BBLs was a thing. She had exactly. A I've been a fan for a long time. I've been you, know, a lot, I, you know, I watched the ass. Love, so I pay attention. Love, love, I love love the ladies. Love her. For me, I am a freak, but that's I not, won. I, I'm, I'm, I'm How do you strike a balance between being honest about your feelings and also respecting the other person's emotion? So, how are you telling people that you don't? Because y'all nonchalant. That you really don't care without hurting their feelings. That's a struggle. Uh, that's a struggle. I'm like, that's a struggle. Because me telling you I don't care is as soon as you say I don't care, that's gonna be a trigger right there. Right. It's very hard for me because I I don't you it don't takes care. a lot for you to get to my emotions because I have such a I have the wall of abuse to place, the women abuse to place wall up for me. So when you get to my emotions, I have to really, really fuck with you. But up until that point, I just 
It don't matter. Like, what are we talking about? Why? Right. What are we like, talking about? What's the context about? of me telling you I don't really care? Right. Let's just say it's some some place she wants to go. She wants you to go. You really just don't want to go, bro. You're not a clubber, for an example. Now, but, what about their family? Like, ooh, like, like Archie and Drake around the family. You don't like their family. Like, I really, I don't want to. That's go. that's even better. I don't care because you, like you know their family is important to her. But you really just don't like being around her dad because her dad is full of shit. Mm. <laughs> All right, so I'm a very honest person. At least I try to be. So if I'm at this point where I'm telling you that I don't want to go, that must have mean I've been here a few times already. Right. And I've right. told you that these experiences I have with your are family not pleasant. not pleasant. So on this trip, I'm going to sit out. So whatever you going to, so when they say, where wine at or why you ain't bring your boyfriend? He went to work. I could be at home in my drawers playing mad. You tell your mama, I was at work. Now mama cool, but daddy's the one who's always well, tell your want, daddy that want I want better work, for my mother. daughter. Now just, you may be doing everything that makes her happy, but because you don't check his boxes, you always got a problem. That's a conversation. Sir, I'm not dating you. Right, that's and a, that's a conversation yeah. that that's your thing, daughter needs that, to have. Yeah, that's a yeah, like she said, that's a but conversation. I have a lot you gotta of have that with, with dudes' mothers. Like I get into with mothers so much because you're not gonna talk to me any kind of way, and you're gonna respect me as a woman. I'm not your child. This may be your son, but as woman to woman, you you watch your tone. Who you talking to? Because you're not my mama. At the end of the day, right. I'm gonna show you some respect because you are an elder. But at the same extent, time, you are gonna show me some too. And I, I go because I mean, respect goes called, both ways. I've been called out my name by people mothers for no reason at all. I'm sitting here being as pleasant as day and trying to be respectful. And your mother keep getting out of pocket. And I'm, a, I'm, I'm gonna eat it. Maybe the first time, maybe the second time. Sometimes you ask you me gotta to go over there again. It's gonna be whatever the fuck is gonna be at this no, point because your mama do, is disrespectful. Don't, don't and do she's that. Not my mama. If you ain't got Sometimes no you gotta whoop her ass. Yeah, my mama wash you. It's over. <laughs> you the swung, the you relationship sw over. You swung and got it your is. ass beat. The relationship is it's definitely dead. over. If you I hit my mama. If I got a swing on your mama, that means you're not stepping up, putting your mama in the place. Correct. If I got the swing on your mama, you're not doing what you do. You should be handling your you family because I'm never going to let my family disrespect you. You should be you should handling defending your family. Me. Nah. So if I got to put my hands on your mama, I'm, I'm, I'm prepared to fight you too. And then it is what it is. <laughs> but what if mama jump, but what if mama jump bad first? Then mama going to get her ass beat. Then I done fucked my then mama. That's, then that's a conversation. <laughs> I mean, shit. Then that's, a, that's a conversation I got to have with my mama. Like, what you doing? Right. Why, why are you, you out of pocket? You got to Why? To Correct. No See, you that, there you what go. She That's she what she said. Stealing you said what? What if she caught the girl stealing silverware? Oh, <laughs> she she got to go. Oh, my mama. <laughs> Shut up, mama. What the fuck? It's silverware. You want some more? I'll buy you some more. Oh, my God. I mean, a granny, that ain't the type of bitch we need to have around us. You steal. But <laughs> right. Now, what I think <laughs> that I would have to do <laughs> with dating is I would have to get my girlfriend to be okay with like not taking everything personal, personal. because yeah. i i like I, i'll fair warn you before you walk in this like i'm my mama's son so this nonchalant shit that you get with me that's it's, where i got it from right she is okay that's cool whatever i ain't tripping type type yeah. of person so like don't take it as my mama don't like you my mama don't like nobody <laughs> That's mama, just her. My mama don't like you. Right. She likes so, everyone. I just like getting women to be like, I ain't saying comfortable, but just like, just not to okay. take everything so personal. Yeah. Like, it's one of those things. It's like, it's like when she opened up, she gonna open up to you, but she want to know that you for real. Yeah. Like, I can't, you can't some, be. Some heat for the mama to a certain extent, but some mamas, some mamas don't understand their sons ain't they man. That's also you know what true. I'm saying. So then you got to deal with that mother who who put their son in a role of their man for so long, and she and once she he come, actually gets a girlfriend, now, now a it's like no, now I got to take with, my place. Yeah, I got to deal with your mama feeling like I'm taking her place, and I got to deal with your baby mamas who place I actually did take. You know, it's a lot of shit that you you ain't take their place because they was never wifey in the first place. So that's true. Sure. They was just there. <laughs> my mama like, oh, you like this nigga? You can have him. 
<laughs> get this now, nigga now, the fuck out of my house. You get me? Like, I can roll with the punch with uh, some people. Like, I come from a shit talking family. So if your if your mama just one of them shit talking mama that's got, got something to say, I'm, I probably done already heard it before. It's funny. And she come off like my mama. But if your mama is the one that's jabbing, if your mama is a mama D, we probably ain't gonna make it. Right. We ain't gonna I'll, make it. Your mama is a mama D that's in the mess, that's, that's stirring up, that's bringing in the other girl for the first girlfriends. We ain't I ain't it. got the time. Gonna, I ain't got the energy. I feel you like out of all the, should have been washed. Out of all the girls that I've ever mm. dated. I, I thought Bambi was gonna get to her, but they grabbed her. I Whoa, thought Bambi was gonna get to I her. Wanted, I wanted her to I'm wash like, her oh, so bad. Get her, get her, just jack her up or something, Lord. Just an overhand <laughs> slap. I'm okay with that. You ain't, I think you ain't all the chicks this fight, that right? I've ever talked to, they right. met, my, they met my mom like probably once or twice. Yeah, that's cool. Minimum, minimum interaction. Yeah, I don't bring a lot of people home. I, I, I don't bring a lot of people home until I'm like actually dealing with you. Like you could pick me up, I'll, I'll come see you, whatever. I dated people for from yeah. the time my kids was in like middle school to high school. Nobody I dated came past my threshold. You didn't come in my house to sit on my couch. You didn't spend a night. You didn't do nothing. I, if I wasn't serious about you, and even the one dude that I was serious about, we was together for four years. He never spent a night in my house. I always went to his house. I ain't like to have all those trail of people in, in the Oregon Trail through my house around my daughters and my son seeing that shit. You know what I'm saying? That was what I did at home. Outside was outside. When I was home, I was home. I would like to date a chick that don't got kids. I just don't think that's a reality. I got a chick that don't got a kid right now, and it's, it's nice. What do, you, no, what do you mean that's not a reality? It is she right. ain't got no... I'm not saying her as an example, but she ain't got no kids. And y'all about the same age, so they out there, one. They out there. But I, I don't feel, lose, don't I lose understand. Faith. I understand what he's saying because now you I it's would, hard because niggas put their dick in anything. Correct. Yeah. Now, so a, I feel like and minimum, chicks be letting anybody fuck them. Hold on, it's now. all the same boat, bro. Not really. Uh, so yes and no. From from my perspective, they might yeah. let anybody fuck them, but one. I don't think I don't think because I'm not that person, but I don't think that they're letting anybody fuck them wrong. Right. I hope not. Look, bro. If you got three kids and all three of your baby daddies ain't shit, you are letting anybody fuck <laughs> you wrong. <laughs> and I'm standing on that. Well, so my I, kids are all by the I same person. That's the business I'm a stand on. I but can't. that's because his daddy went to prison. If his daddy wouldn't have been went to prison, I feel like all my kids would have been with the same person. My last, my first one had his own daddy. He went to prison, but then my last three is with my husband. <laughs> so I feel like if if it wasn't for him going to prison, all my kids would have the same daddy. This penis and is a not lot friendly. of misconceptions. You said it's not friendly. It's not friendly. I can't just sleep with anybody, bro. I, I have to have a connection. Got, I have to like you to actually want to. You actually got to have a value. You. And I actually feel like right. I feel like that's why you got to be at the least niggas a that I do fuck with. I just <laughs> recycle because. I don't exactly. like a whole lot of people to the point that I actually feel like I want to sleep with you, I, or even touch. I am want you I touching like me. One dude that I Physical like touch really is my like love language, I, but I actually don't like very many people touching me. If I don't like you, why are you touching me? Like mm. what? Does okay. recycling cause problems? No. Like, can you even find someone else out there when you know that the minute you see a red flag, it might be a small one, but a red flag, you like, nah, I don't want to deal with that. I can always go back over here where I know so, once again it's comfortable. For me, for me, yes and no. I would say no just for, just for the simple fact that like like as was stated earlier, I try to give people the benefit of the doubt. So I see the red flags and I'm like, I like red. I'm red. It's a flag. How hard <laughs> could how harmful could it be? Let's let's just go past that. It's all right. We'll figure it out. And then three or four or five red flags down the line. I'm like. I seen that first one. I just ignored the shit. You have I seen the second glasses one, on. and See, I ignored that shit. My good. thing is, I will ignore the red flags if the sex is good, and I'm like, well, you know, he eat my booty a little. You know, you know, the head is good. So, yes, he is a liar, but <laughs> <laughs> booty eating as a reason why a nigga can stay around for another yeah. month yeah. is Listen, crazy. Yeah. crazy. But it's the truth. It's Nasty the truth. business. There's, there's, Nasty. there's Nasty. a multitude the of reasons why niggas stay around. Nigga, you find a reason to keep this. Either he's paying for something. Right, or he's he's licking something or he's sticking something. It's it's something about him. He got one good quality. So it's transactional. Yeah, yeah. Twenty 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 four. Mm -hmm. Transactional relationships. Chick, correct. Yeah. If Situationships. Chick, if a chick tell me, in the process of courting or getting to know her, that she like to recycle, 
boom, red flag. Now fuck with it. Understandably so. Because I like them. You said what? I said that's crazy. Why is that crazy? Because you gotta have that one person you can go, you could go back to. And that's cool. Five. You you can have that one person, but I'm not dealing with bitches with pre existing connections. <laughs> at least at least I'm trying my hardest not that, to. I, I say about if I, if I if I had ten exes, I'm friends with seven of them. I can still call and we can still kick and we can still have fun and we can have sex. I it, I I'm I don't have to end every relationship with an enemy. You know what I'm saying? Some shit just don't work. But you out. can't move forward. I am yes, not I enemies can. with no, none can. of my exes. Yes, I, I tell this to I, be in the hole. I tell I, this I to my to like cousin that. all the time. You want to know why you're not going to have no prosperous relationship? It's because you're stuck in one. <laughs> Even and it's not a real one. It's Ain't not. no no nigga got a shot because you always going to have this point of reference right. that you can always go to. I'm not going to fight for my life in a fight I know I can't win. Oh, that's, I feel you. that's what I'm saying. So I like, when mother's like, nah, I'll be spinning blocks. Okay, keep spinning I mean, that block. I'm not with you. Like that, but if I don't feel like being in a relationship, I don't feel like dating nobody. If I know that you clean and I can fuck with you. And I'll just call you back. Like, why go try to meet somebody new just because I just need to give my rock off today? I, I know this. This is safe. That's this fine is, for you. I'm speaking as a nigga who's this is why in the dating pool. Niggas be feeling And this is what I run into. Right. Motherfuckers who like, this is safe. Yeah. I think I would be cool. And like, it's like, okay, I see what you I, want. I, I kind of like, like it. And then they be like, like I, I, nope, I got to go back to where it's safe. I feel like I can't I trust you just like that. I, do like I feel that. like I only spend the block if whatever I was doing or whoever I was fucking with didn't work out but in the meantime while i'm actively trying to get to know someone and I'm, we're actively you know trying to date we're talking on a regular basis then i'm not even thinking about them niggas like dead like right, I'm i could probably them, like, on i probably shit, could send the block if i wanted to but i'm not i'm not thinking about the, this it's not i feel like to me it's not a point of reference Mm-mm. In my opinion, it's not a point of because I'm I'm focused on you. My attention is on you. It's just safe sex. I mean, everybody not the same, but it, it, it the, but when the I'm, thought exists. Is what I'm saying, I, I get it. Like saying. there are points, there are people who are like fam. Like mm, y'all cool, but y'all ain't like this nigga. Yeah. And even though me and this nigga can't be what I want it to be, always gonna find it cool over here versus trying some new shit that may uh, work, may not work. I know that this is a safe space. This is guaranteed over. That's just no I, matter whatever know, the situation is. I know sick. if I need something, I can I can call on that. But like if I'm, I'm looking for a relationship, if I'm like she said, if you have my attention, you have my attention. I'm not really gonna feed nobody else my time. Like if I'm checking for you, I may be dating a few different people. He may be the nigga I go to the movies with. He may be the nigga that feed me throughout the week. Don't, you don't, might be don't ever make don't with. ever tell me I'm the nigga that just feeds you. I will yeah, never feed right. you again. <laughs> All my niggas that feed me live out of town, so they can't do anything but feed me. So they feel good about feeding me. Hey, baby, did you eat yet today? Did you? What's for lunch? Hey, you in Mississippi? You can't see me, but yes, you can send me lunch. You that's, can't send that. My DoorDash, you can't send that cash app. That's when that nonchalant shit kick in. I'm hungry. Why me too? <laughs> but I, I very seldom. But let a man I, hit a, a woman up. On, on social media, hey, I, I need lunch, thirty for lunch. I'm really just he broke ass guy. Nigga. Because he's gonna be upset that I made the post anyway. So I'm not really looking for any dude on Facebook to buy me lunch. I'm just telling my nigga, look, nigga, I'm I gotta make this post because you ain't you ain't asked what I want for lunch yet today. So when you see that post, why why you on Facebook? Oh shoot, you finna send me lunch then because I'm hungry. I'm on Facebook because I'm hungry. It just be like nigga, you at home. You don't go get them leftovers out of me lunch. I just want this nigga to. To see that you you late, uh, you're thirty minutes late. You supposed to be at my meal here, right? I don't, I don't fuck around like that. You want something? Please talk to me directly. Yeah, I do that too. But sometimes I want to play games. Shit, I got a lot uh, of different personalities. You, you know which you, you got? You today. can play the game. This is why that key shit can get the hell up out of here. Nah. Now, I mean, and that's why I don't cheat because that's you a, may go with me, but this key should may go with him. That's a you single, have to figure out which one you're talking to. That's a single player <laughs> game right there, G. But hey, because I tell people all the time, like, hey, y'all understand that, that is y'all, not. Y'all that's thoughts, not how RPG works. Y'all thoughts are unattractive. But then y'all are too. Y'all are no, gross. No, y'all people, never... people thoughts are unattractive. Mm-hmm. Like and, and once that's like when they, you see certain things you that you the, see, I'm like that's nasty. I'm talking about that. Again, yeah. that's, that's how, how, people, that's people, how niggas talk themselves like, out the pussy yeah, all the time because I might out, out the pussy all the I might think you are attractive from a distance. I might see how you move with other people. And I've never heard you speak before. I've never heard you speak of 
on anything of relevance before. We didn't talk. We might have had a couple of conversations, the bullshit conversations. All right, whatever. But once I hear your point of view on something of relevance, and I see like, like what? that's give, how you think. Give me an example. That's what you thought. You want, you want to know his thoughts on abortion? No. You want to know his thoughts on Roe versus Wade? Like what? Like, like what you want from this? It's just, no, it's just it's I can't even get. I know I what they're talking give, about. I can't bitches? even this is it. And when you get to talking about shit, most, like, most if, men if, hate if, bitches. If so that's can what he articulate clearly, articulate what he's trying to say. If he stumble across just trying to get, it, just trying to say what he what he needs to say. If if you just come across like you sound like you slow, that's gonna turn me off. Like or you, you sound, sound like you a little. I need little, you to little, be like able to hold class, your conversation in mm, any in any room. So I need you to be. I need someone to be. I don't want to say that I'm fucking the smartest person in the room. There's always something else for me to learn. Yeah. But I feel like I can hold my own in almost any room that I'm in. So I would need my partner, whoever that I'm dealing with, to be the same. I need you to be able to hold your own in any room that you're in, in any conversation that comes up. Yeah. If you can't do that, if you, you know, people don't know, you don't know what you don't know. So I get that. But it's like, so you want to speak on something that you don't know. You clearly have no dog in this fight, but just because you want to be included in the conversation, nah. now you done opened your mouth and you sound stupid. You I've been embarrassed the, like that before. Don't, don't embarrass yourself in front of upper like crust. The greatest answer to shit that I don't know is no comment. I Simple. Took, I, I took a, a hood dude. Nah, not nah, fucking with that one. I mm. took a hood dude I was dating one time, and this is my mistake because I just should have just left him where he was at. Where <laughs> you take him from the bar? You took a nigga no. from the block. He wasn't to the from birds? the block. He was just from the neighborhood. You know what I'm saying? Like he wasn't even a street dude. He was just from the neighborhood. Like a nigga I just who knew only, him. He's a nigga who mama only let him go from corner to corner. Apparently. <laughs> Because I, I took him to a military function. The mistake ooh. number one, because not everybody's built for that. Right, I'm like, ooh. Yeah, I was in the military and some of them I wasn't built for. I took him to a military function and he wanted to he wanted to talk guns or something. Whatever he wanted, he wanted to talk about, he just wasn't he wasn't well versed in whatever he wanted but, to talk but, about. Yeah, whatever. Here spitting out shit, he heard them saying rap songs. <laughs> Y'all got FNs? Excuse me. Sorry. Exactly. Whatever he was saying was <laughs> not was nigga just play not Call on of Duty their level. He right. And he just came across so stupid. stupid, and I just looked. I just was so embarrassed because they looked at me like. This is who you brought. Who this guy with this is, like, I'm like, God. This, they, this your person. You, this your person. You about to get court right. martialed. Like, oh, they about to demote you. Like, about we gonna to take a, the, You about to lose about a strike, to, dog. I'm, 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 I'm no breaking laws. So I'm about to be in the bridge. Uh, you know what I'm saying? And, and the way that he was talking stuff was all. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, 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 say nigga one more time. Nigga, nigga, <laughs> say it again. Like, you know, like I was so embarrassed. I was like, never again, never again. But I ever. I would go stay. I would. I would just never put myself in that. That was the most embarrassing thing I've ever seen. And like, and he, and he just wanted to talk all night. Like he never, it never dawned on him that he didn't know what he was talking about. He just talking to everybody about shit. I'd have left early on my life. I'd have just oh got. God, I'd have got the fuck up out of there. He was mad. Trying to get the nuff stuff. I didn't even walk got up out of there. In, injecting himself in conversations. You don't you he walking up to lieutenants and shit. You just walking up to my I can't walk up to this nigga and have a conversation with this nigga. You need to get your he, step he, step your confidence up. He did. No, 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 no. no. It's, it's, rank. It's, it's rank. It's rank, nigga. You can't just walk up. You can't up just walk to other niggas. Like, like, like you can't just talk no, to a nigga I'm, I'm not with in, bars, bro. I'm, no. I'm not in the military. That, that, that's why we let you know. That's why we correct you now. This is like I was new to like the company, so they had me out there like I was doing like the demo shit, you know, just little minor shit. I act like I fuck around with everybody at work. I asked, I was like, "Hey man, somebody go give me a chair." He looked at me, he was like, "I I don't know who the fuck dog is." Like an hour later, somebody was like, "Yeah, that's one of like the corporate niggas of the job." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like I felt bad, but I was like, I ain't really. You asked the corporate nigga to get you a chair. Asked a nigga for a chair. Like the yeah. most you can say is, "Nah, you don't get a chair." Like, right. I ain't saying nothing out of pocket. <laughs> man, then when I found out he was one of the big guys, I was like, "Oh man, he cool. Man, he fuck with my uncle, man. Everybody, my uncle the boss. What the fuck y'all talking about, man? Say, say what the fuck I want these people. No, nah, in the military, bro. If they if they symbols are shiny, you can't talk to them unless your shit shiny. Best way to exactly. describe it. 
Creed. If they shit shiny, talk to bosses. Little yeah. Talk to little Basically, <laughs> it, that's how it is. It's even so bad that bosses have their own club. They hang out. We go other places. You don't want to, you don't really want to get drunk in front of your boss anyway. You don't want even to though they get boss. way fucked up worse than you they ever know. will, but they can get their ass out of trouble. Oh, see, we wouldn't even be if I don't you, we wouldn't even been there long. When I found out that there's niggas in this room that I can't have casual conversation with, we can go home. You say hi to everybody, first of all, the face, spent the room. Mistake, let's go. mistake number one she made, I wouldn't bring a regular civilian around real niggas anyway. Yeah. I would have treated that shit like a podcast party. I didn't know that. You say hi to your people, do a circle. We get the fuck out of here. I didn't think he was gonna act like that because, like I said, he wasn't street. He just from the from the neighborhoods. I He's a civilian. At least, at least he would be able to have a conversation. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Shit, that nigga went in there thought, and he became street. He started talking about nigga shit. We ain't never talked about. <laughs> he started talking about guns and shit. Where is this coming from? Like it, it was. Crazy. I don't it's know. Embarrassment. Niggas ribbed you for a month. I was. I was. That's I was another good thing about working. No, they didn't. They didn't rib me too much because you know I had the women and I had I had the dirt. I had the secrets. You know they all married. They they. they ah, you talking too much. You talking too much. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for to the end of this episode. They not gonna be mad at me. <laughs> Thank you for tuning into this episode of What Is Love. I like to thank both I got all those Denise <laughs> and uh, Bellamy because she out here spilling Lieutenant all Bellamy. Hey, they not. They don't know. So, these are these are Sergeant like, Jones. Just being funny, Doc. They not like. They Who the fuck us. is Sergeant Jones? <laughs> like Chris ain't a sergeant yet. I said Jones. Oh, they said Jones. That's wild. <laughs> That's mm. very wild. That's actually. very wild. How did we get there? How did we get there? But make sure you check us out on all streaming platforms at Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, or wherever else you see your podcast at. Uh, make sure you check out the next episode. Um, Who's going to be here next time? To be determined. Actually, yeah, at this moment, I'm going to TBA it. Because I know the topic. I know who's going to be here. I got to match the topic with them. And it's not their fault. It's me. Because some people just don't fit certain topics. So you just don't want to put them... I don't want to give you that. You bitter. You just not your topic. Ooh. You know? Hey, people need to learn how to be more interesting. Now, I'll tell you that right now. That's right. another thing. Not everybody's interested. I'm so uninterested in dating at this point in my life. This shit's crazy. I actually got a nice little poly thing going on right now. I'm, gonna, I'm having a little bit of fun. You whore. No, I'm not a whore. Definitely. Big vibes. Why not a be a whore? Because I'm, I'm exclusively dating two people at the same time. And we all know about it. How is that? The, how I'm being I'm a not a whore. This is the one moment I'm not being a whore. No, no, no. I just said, I'm, I'm, I'm saying big vibes. I was on your side. He called you a whore. <laughs> well, I'm, not, I'm not a whore. I had to, be, I, I like had to say it for the right wingers. I have to. I, I have to be Grab honest with myself. Pussy? I like men and I like women and I don't like having to choose. Shout out to Donald Trump. 2024. You shouldn't have to Right. As long as everybody's clean, that's all that matters. Everybody's clean. Everybody's for it. You, you know what I'm saying? Uh, for the Joe if you want to. <laughs> Three incomes is better than one. Mm-hmm. You know, it's bigger. It's bigger than just the second. Bigger thing. than rap. Yeah, it's bigger than just rap, but hey, it's but fun. It's nice. With that being said, make sure you check us out on Thursdays when episodes drop. Kickboxing will be back one day. At some point. At some point. Yeah, one day. Well, because we're doing this for almost damn near two months, so right, kickboxing so will drop back somewhere. Summertime when sometime in the When it's really time to bring them shoes out, you right. know? I don't wear too much because it's still cold outside. You know, snow. it can snow at any moment. It right. can. <laughs> and I'm currently working on the uh, Fear of Flying series for where I come from, so that will be out soon as well, too, so be on the lookout for that. Uh, Denise may or may not be on another podcast. Bellamy to ain't come. Denise is hanging with Juan all summer. Uh, I would be. Well, at least when Bellamy she's ain't leaving the house anytime soon. I will be leaving the house. I've actually got a show in production called Try Love that's going to be going around with my following my poly relationship on my own network. That's going to be popping out soon. So just stay we want the there. exclusive interviews. We will give you the exclusive interviews. Absolutely. I want all. I want all is, parties is, involved. Is you? Oh, yeah, is is one dude, two girls, or is it three women? Like what, what's no, the situation? It's, it's me. Um, a, my lady named Tia, and we we with the guy named Rock, and it's the three of us. Why niggas can't just have regular? It's TV, bro. You gotta have a nickname. Name, but I don't want to use his regular name. Yeah, it's TV. What if having a nigga's name Clarence? 
Ah, you know what's <laughs> funny? His name, his name is similar to that. <laughs> just, <laughs> but his name is Rock. Like, come on, bro. Rock sounds but more. That's, that's what we just better for to TV. Put out for the show because people the got was on TV people now. got lives and people got kids. So that's what we. That's yeah, what man. We don't need to know that. You know don't what I'm saying? But we really gonna get in depth. We are gonna talk about why we all wanted to be in it. What's our what's our vision for? Where we going with it? And what we expect to come from it. All right. With that being said, people, we are out of here. Good night.